كل امري وقال له قلت من لساني يكتب تو My special guest and my brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in Japan, especially the city of Tokyo. And the topic of my talk this evening is Muhammad. Peace be upon him, the mercy to humanity. Will you be translating together? Or? I, I want to do that. Could no, you be translating. Now, just now. Short or in the ending you will short? Uh, will you I translate in the ending? Short, short it. So will short. you translate in the ending or? No, now. Okay. Hon jitsu wa watsumari itadakimashite, arigatou gozaimasu. Mea sama o islam no挨拶、アスラマライクンバルマトロワバロカトでお迎えしたいと思います。日本に入ること、日本に訪れることができて大変嬉しく思います。本日のトピックは預言者ムハンマドさんは彼の上に平安あれは全人類の慈悲ということについ
しかしながらムハマド預言者様以前に使わされた首都,によ首都の方たちがに従った人たちはただ単にその部族の方たちが従っただけです。But the Quran says that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger. It's mentioned in Surah Azab chapter 30 verse number 40. Ma kana Muhammadun aba adim min jalikum walaki Rasulullah wa khatamin Nabi wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin alima. That Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of you any men. He's not, the, he's not the father of any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of Prophet. クロアンにおいてムハマド預言者様は人類の父というわけではなくすべての人類に使わされたメッセンジャー預言者であると明記されています。Because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. ムハマド預言者様は最後でして最終の預言者様であるためアラブのムスリムに使わされたという預言者ではなくすべての全人類によってに向けて使わされた預言者様になります。And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anbiya chapter number 21 verse number 107 Allah says「وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ」that we have sent thee not but as the mercy to all the worlds as the mercy to all the creatures as the mercy to the whole of humanity。クロアにおいて、ムハマド預言者様を使わせたということは、全人類及び全すべての生き物に対する慈悲であると明記されています。So Almighty God Allah Subhanahu wa Taala clearly mentioned in the Quran that Prophet Muhammad be upon him has been sent as the mercy to the whole of humanity. ですから、クロアに明らかにあるなっているように、アンラーはムハマド預言者様をすべての人類に対する慈悲として使わされているのです。Allah repeated the message. Allah says in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, Mama at Salaka illa kafatel nas, Bashiro wa Naziro. Wala kinna aksab nasila ayamun. That we have sent thee not but as the universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. Quran no 34, 28, and 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 28, This talk of mine, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the mercy to humanity, can go on for hours and days together. There is so much of matter, but for brevity, I will divide the talk into three parts. 本日のトピックを3つに分けてお話ししたいと思います。The first part I will be speaking about what is mentioned by our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. まず最初に、ムハマド預言者様がどのようなものであるかをクロアンに,に基づいてお話しします。The second part I'll be dealing About the sayings and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which are mentioned in the Sahih Hadith. And in the third part, I'll be speaking about the statements of the non Muslims, what they have to speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. そして最後に、ムスリムではない人がムハマド預言者様についてどのように申しているかをお伝えいたします。First, we'll discuss About what does our Creator Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have to speak about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? まず最初に全能なるアンラがどのように伝えているかをお伝えします。Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4. Allah says, "Inna ka lalakum, halakum azim." That indeed, verily, in the Prophet is. The best pattern of conduct. Verily, in the Prophet is the highest standard of conduct. Quran 6, 68, 4 verse number 4, Allah has been said. The first verse, Verily, you are the highest standard of conduct. Allah has been said. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, Allah says. لا لكم لكم في رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم that verily in the prophet you will find the best example. 
また第33章21節の中でアラ,アラはムハマド預言者様は最も,最も良い模範だと伝えていらっしゃいます。Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shara, chapter number 94, verse number 4. Allah says, What a final like a zikr, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised him to high esteem. But the Quran no Tai Kyuju Yon Shou, Yon Sets no Naka de Allah, Muhammad Yensha Sama, Motomo Takai Chin Kyagera, to Tai Timas. Allah says, What a final like a zikr, verily we have raised him to the high esteem. And it is further mentioned in the glorious Quran. It is mentioned in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 31. That it says that if you love Allah, Allah is saying to the Prophet, say, if you love Allah, follow me. And Allah will love you and will show mercy on you.第31節において言っています。に書かれています。言ってやるがいい。あなたがもしアラを敬愛するならば私に従い。そうすればアラもあなた方を目であれ。あなた方の罪を許される。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして同じように第3章第,第32節の中でアラーに従いアラーに従うことでアラーはあなたを愛されると申しています。アラーは言うことで、それはアザーチャプトの33章の6で、the prophet for the believers they love him more than, than their own selves。また第33章第6節において言われています。アラーアラを自分の母よりも愛せよ。アラセスのコラン、インソラリムランチャプトの3、ワーサム159、says that had it not been on the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he made you gentle, or if you would have been harsh and tough on them, they would have broken apart. また、アラはクラーの中で親切でいることそのことによってあなたは守られると言っています。Ya Allah is saying that He made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam merciful, kind and gentle. If the Prophet was harsh and if he was stern and tough, surely the people would have been broken and no one would have been stayed close to him. So the Prophet made him merciful, kind and gentle. から。モハマド預言者様はアラーによって親切な方、親切な崇高な特性を備えた方として作られ、それがために信者ではない人たちにももちろん慕われる人となっております。For this mission in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 34, it says that the good is not like the evil. Repel evil with something better. And to you who is an enemy, He will become a devoted friend of yours. The day Sanjay is your Sanjay on Sets in your day, you did it in us. Allah, no Yaksus question said, Anatavatawa, Genzai, no Sekatina Zamakarita, I can. Let's try and understand what is mentioned in the Hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Mosalasalam regarding his mercifulness. また次にハディースの中でどのようにアラの慈悲が示されているかを教えてお伝えしたいと思います。It is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 6, Hadith number 6631.It says that when the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was troubled and harassed by the opponents, Many of his companions told him that why don't you pray to Allah? Why don't you tell Allah and you curse these opponents? So the hadith says that when the Sahaba told the Prophet that why don't you curse the opponents and your enemies? So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied that I have not been sent as an invoker of curses, but I have been sent as a mercy to humankind. 
ムスリムによるハディス第6番の661によりますとサハーバたちがムハンマド預言者様になぜアラーに敵を打ち負かすようにお願いしないのかと伝えたところムハンマド預言者様は私は全人類の慈悲として使わされたのであると答えられました。He said he was sent as a mercy to the whole of humankind. このハディースから分かることは、ムハンマド・ユケンシャ様は慈悲として使われされた。それはムスリムに対してだけではなく、全人類、彼に対する敵対者に対しても慈悲として使わされたということが分かります。<笑> It's mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number 6, Hadith number 6030, that Prophet Muhammad said that if you show not mercy, then the Lord will not show mercy on you. サヒフムスリムによりますと、慈悲を示すことによって、アラーは慈悲をあなたに返されると伝えています。It is mentioned in a say hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number four, hadith number one, nine, two, four, where the Prophet peace be upon him said that if you show mercy on the people, then he will show mercy on you. If you show mercy on the people of the world, then person who's in the heaven, he will be merciful towards you. またハディーシャによりますと、あなたが人々に慈悲を示すと、人々はあなたに慈悲を与え、また世界に慈悲を示すことによ天国があなたに慈悲を示すと伝えています。So the Prophet always advocated and taught that the Muslims should be merciful to all the human beings. ですから、ムスリムと、ムスラム教徒、ムスリムは全人類に対して慈悲を持たなければなりません。It is mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number four, hadith number 3231 that the wife of the Prophet said, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She asked the Prophet, that Was there any day in your life which was worse than the day of the battle of Uhud? Which is the worst day of your life? So the Prophet said, Yes, it was the day of Al Aqaba in Taif. ブハーリーによりますと、預言者ムハマド様の妻のアイシャ,がアイシャ様がムハマド預言者様にウフドの戦いより悪い日がありましたでしょうかと聞いたところ、ムハマド預言者様の答えは悪魔の日だと答えられました。And when the Prophet went to deliver the message of Islam to the people of Taif, they harassed him and they did not listen to the message, they did not, they did not obey the Prophet, and some of the narrations say that they even stoned him. It was the worst day of his life. ハディスによりますと、ムハンマド預言者様の言葉を受け取らず、それに敵対し、さらに石を投げた日、それが最も悪い日だということです。Then when the prophet was sitting his head down in sun, suddenly he finds a shade of cloud over his head, a shade of silver cloud. And when he looks up, he sees the archangel Gabriel. He sees Jibril a.s. salam. And Jibril a.s. says, That Allah has witnessed what they did to you and how they behaved with you. So Allah has sent the angels of mountain to help you. And Jibril a.s. he calls the angel of mountain. Muhammad a.s. said, I'm going to go to the sky. I'm going to go to the sky. I'm going to go to the sky. 様は伝えましたアラーはあなたの行動を見ているあなたが何をしたかを見ているそのために私を使わされたということです。When the angel of mountain comes, he says to the prophet that your Lord has sent me and he has witnessed and heard how did the people behave with you. You, you command what should I do? Whatever you say I will do. Do you want me to bring both the mountains of Makkah together? Do you want me to get both the mountains close to either? So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. So that the people will be That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings from the loyals of these people, a generation from these people who will worship Allah and will not associate partners with Him. Muhammad Yagan Shah Samasari Nitaish de Kotai Rademashtas, Toshiga Nozumunua, Karela Nakani Allah Nitaish de 
帰依する人が出てくることです。Imagine the prophet s a y it was the worst day of his life. Imagine if it was the worst day of your life and if someone wants to help you and say, I can crush the enemy to death. Here the prophet says, Don't put them to death, but I want Allah to bring from their loins, from their generation, from their children, a people who will believe in Allah and who will not associate partners with God. 人生最悪の日にあなたを助けようと言ってくれたものに対してムハンマドル元社様はそ,このその助けを望むのではなくそれ彼らの中から自分の敵対者の中からアンラーを信じる人が出てくることを望まれたのです。It is mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, Vaum No.8, Hadith No.6397, that one of the Sahabas approaches the Prophet and says that the people of Daos they did not agree with the message of Islam. And they rejected the message. Why don't you curse? Curse these people of Daos. And the Sahaba they thought now the Prophet would curse the people of Daos. But the Prophet said, O、oh、Allah, guide the people of Daos so that they come close to us. The Prophet said, Give Hidayah, give guidance, but he did not curse them. Buhari, Nyur, Hadith, Nyur, m a s t o アンラー、ムハマド預言者様の言葉を信じて、それどころかそれを拒否する人々に対して、サハバたちがどうするか、ぜひ、それ敵対者たちを打ち負かすように言ったときに、ムハマド預言者様は、アンラーに対して願ったことは、彼らが導かれますように、彼らに被害がありますようにということでした。The Prophet, peace be upon him, history and hadith tells us that even prayed for the staunchest enemy of Islam. And this is mentioned. In a Sayyid Hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number six, Hadith number 3681, that the Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, O、oh、Allah, give guidance at least to one of the two staunchest enemies of Islam, the two Umarain, that is Abu Jahl or Umar bin Khattab, brother r a w a n The Prophet prayed to, to God that among the two staunchest enemies, At least give Hidayah, give guidance to one of these two enemies. Both the name was Umar. One was Abu Jahl, his nickname, and the, and the other was Umar bin Khattab. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave guidance to Hazrat Umar bin Khattab, who later on became the second Caliph of Islam. Hadith in Yerim Master Muhammad Yerim Shah Samoa, Allah, and Tai Shi, Doka, what is not the Jonah Kyoto Kunatiki, Ftai no Chi, Hitori, and Zihi, Allah, no Mitsubikyo. お授けくださいと願いました。その2人とはアブジャハイルとウマルホタイブです。この中でウマルホタイブ様にアンラーの導きがもたらされ、彼は2対2代の正当カリフとなりました。It is further mentioned in the hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number 5, hadith number 4589, which is also mentioned in Sai Bukhari, hadith number 4372, that once the Sabas They capture a person by the name of Sumama from Yamama. And this person, he had killed several Muslims. He had butchered and killed several Muslims. So they arrest him and they get him to the Prophet. And when they get him to the Prophet, the Prophet says that what should be done to you, O Umama? So, Umama replies that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. But if you free me and if you want ransom, I can give you all the wealth. And if you forgive me, you'll be, for- you'll be forgiving a person who will be grateful to you. So the Prophet gives him milk and he drinks the milk. And after drinking, he licks his, his lips. That means he wasn't fully quenched his desire. So the Prophet tells the Sahabas to give one more ball of milk. Again, he licks his lip after drinking. Then the third, then the fourth. After the seventh ball of milk, he does not lick his lip. The Prophet says, Take him away. The next day, when he comes, Again, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asks him the same, same question. Oh, Amama, what should be done with you? 
たあるハディスは伝えていますムハマド預言者様のもとにムスリムを多く殺したオマーマという人が連れてこられましたムハンマド預言者様は彼に対して私はどうあなたをどうし扱ったらいいかと尋ねたところオマーマは私はたくさん殺していますから殺されたところで文句は言いませんまた私を自由にされたために何か身の代金を要求するのであればもちろんそれを支払いますまた許してくださるのであればそれは非常にありがたいことですということでしたムハンマド預言者様は彼の望む通りに彼がお腹いっぱいになるまで満足するまでメルクを与えましたそして彼はそのままそこを離れまた次の日やってきてムハンマド預言者様と同じ会話を繰り返します Again, Umama, he repeated the same answer that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I killed many Muslims and if you want ransom, I can give you all my wealth and if you forgive me and free me, you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful Again, the Prophet gives him milk, he drinks it, he licks his lip, the second ball, the third ball, the seventh ball. After the seventh ball, he does not lick his lip, and the Prophet says, Take him away. 同じ質問が繰り返され、殺されてもいい、あるいは身の代金を支払うのでもいい、自由にしてくれるのであれば、それは大変ありがたい。こうして今回はミルクを3本まで飲んで離れていきました。The third day when Sumama comes, again the Prophet asks him that. What do you have to say? What should be done with you? So he says and repeats the same answer. That if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. If you are ransom, I can give you my wealth. If you forgive me, you'll be forgiving a person who's grateful. And the Prophet then he sets him free. And all the Sahabas are shocked that how could the Prophet set free an enemy who has killed so many Muslims? And they were shocked. At the decision of the prophet. 同じ3日目にまた同じ質問と同じやり取りが繰り返されアマアマは自由になりましたその様子を見ていたサハバたちは非常に衝撃を受けましたそのまま行くと同じやり取りが繰り返されアマアマは自由になりましたそのまま That there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So, the story of 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 the story And today, the most beloved, the most loved, the most liked faith in the full world of any, of any human being, it is the faith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he said, before, the most in the world, 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 という宗教であったイスラムという信仰であったが今日からは最も愛すべきものがムハマド預言者様の導く宗教であると申しました。Sumama says that before the religion which I hated the most, which I disliked the most, was the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Islam. And today, the religion I like the most, the religion I love the most, is the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that is Islam. Before, the city I hated the most, the city I disliked the most, was the city of Medina, that the city of the Prophet. Today, the city I love the most, the city I like the most, is the city of the Prophet, that is the city of Medina. また、以前は最も嫌いな、最も憎むべき町は預言,者の預言者様の町、マディナだったけれども、今は最も愛すべき町がマディナであると言いました。He said, the last three days that I stayed here, I could not believe my eyes seeing the companions of the Prophet like Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Abu Bakr, all these and the way they loved each other and the way they respected the Prophet and the way they obeyed the Prophet. ここ3日間、私は自分の見たものが信じられませんでした。サハーバたちがお互いに尊敬し合っている様子、またサハーバたちがムハマド預言者様に向ける敬愛の様子が、また私にとっては衝撃的でした。He said he has not seen in his full life. Any human being loved and respect as much as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
まあ、まあこのような人類がお互いに愛しムハンマド預言者様が愛される様子というものは最高のものであると言いました He said, in my place, if someone gave the call for prayer in the morning and disturbed me, I would have killed the person. Here, there's a black man, Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. He gives a call in the morning and he wakes up the people. And then he, the black man, is straightening the row for the prayer, irrespective of whether the person is white, whether he's an Arab, whether he's a non Arab. Imagine a black man touching all the human beings. And the humanity between all the human beings has really shocked me. I was in this place, and 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 Even the companions were merciful and kind, and this shocked the enemy of Islam and they changed their hearts. Hadith Karam Manamana Kirbeke Naikotua, Muhammad Yogesha Samawa, Hijoni Jihibi Kaikata Dari, Mata Sahabados, Sahabata Jidoshi no Jihia Jia, Mata Soryoga, Tekini Mikerata Tokino Jia, Tonari, Sono Tekiga Kokoro Kaita to Yokotodes. And one of the best examples of mercy is the Fateh Makkah. That is the conquest of Makkah. And we know when Prophet Muhammad when he came back to Makkah with a large, ten of thousand, more than 10,000 companions, and when he marched into Makkah, victory was easy. And the Muslims, they conquered Makkah without bloodshed. The most and when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him Makkah, when he entered Makkah, he said that all those who are in the house of in the house of Abu Sufyan, all those who enter the house of Abu Sufyan, they are safe. Abu Sufyan, he was the chief of the pagan Arabs. He was the chief of Makkah and he was the leader of the enemies. So when he enters Makkah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anyone who enters the house of Abu Sufyan, the chief of the enemies of Muslims, he is safe. Muhammad Yagensha Sama, Mecca, and Hira, and Toki, and Oshai Mashta, Abu Sufyan, so that was the most important thing that Muslims had to say, the most important thing that was the most important thing that was. All those who lay down their arms, they are safe. All those who stay, Behind locked doors, they are safe. すべての人間が安全を保障される。He says further that Rashi, the person who killed the uncle of the Prophet, had the thumbs up. May Allah be pleased with him. He said he is forgiven. Hinda, Hind, the lady who ate the liver. Of Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him, who was the uncle of the Prophet. Even she is forgiven. But Muhammad Yagen Shah Sama no Oji de Aru Hamza o Sama o Koro Sareta Koro Shita Hito o Yerusu. But so no Dai Kara Naijo o Tabeta Mono mo Yerusu to Oshai Mashita. The Prophet said, "Habar, the person who threw a spear at the daughter of the Prophet when she was traveling from Makkah to Medina." And later on, because of that wound and injury, she died. The Prophet said, "Habar is also forgiven." Imagine, Prophet forgive the killer of the uncle, the person who ate the liver of his uncle, the person who killed his daughter. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. Muhammad Yagen Shah Sama, Mecca, when he was arrested, he forgave his wife too. He forgave his daughter too. He forgave his wife too. He forgave his wife too. He forgave his daughter too. He forgave his wife too. One of the companions by the name of Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that this is the day of massacre. And the Prophet said, no, this is the day of mercy. Muhammad Yagen Shah Sama, the new day of the day of mercy, 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 the day of mercy. This is mentioned several hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Volume Five, in Sahih Muslim, and various several hadiths about the conquest of Makkah. This is mentioned in several hadiths in Sahih Bukhari, Volume Five, in Sahih Muslim, and various several hadiths about the conquest of Makkah.
Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa jannaakum, shu'ubaw wa kabaila li ta'arafu, inna khalaqnaakum min dalla yastakum, inna la alimun khabeel. O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female, and have divided you into nations and tribes, so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other, and the most honored in the sight of of Almighty God is the person who has taqwa, is the person who has God consciousness, piety and righteousness. The Quran de tsutai rai te imas. Ni jinrui wa danjo pea de tsukurare, sore wa tagai wa shiru tame no mono de ari, tekitai shiru mono tame no mono dewa nai. Maha Allah no mai ni oite mo kyoka sarele no wa Allah ni tai shiru taqwa no mi de aru. This verse of the Quran is the best verse on universal brotherhood which says that all the human beings have been created from one pair. We have one common great, 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 great grandparents, Adam and Eve. And we have been divided into nations and tribes so that we shall recognize each other, not that we shall despise each other. And the most honored, the only way one human being is superior to the other is not by wealth, is not by sex, is not by color, it's not by age, but it is with taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. 先ほどの説は最も人類に持たされた最も素晴らしい説です。全人類は一つのペア、一つの国から作られ、そして互いを知り合うために国や部族が分けられています。また、人類で最も評価されるのは、アンラーに対するタクは信心、信心だけです。In the third part of my talk, I will be speaking about the comments of some of the non-Muslims. There are many non-Muslims who have commented on the Prophet, who is the mercy to humanity. Time will not permit me to speak about all. I'll just mention a few. Third part of the talk, where the Muslims are not people who have commented on the Prophet, who is the mercy to humanity. Time will not permit me to speak about all. I'll just mention a few. There was a book by the name The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. This book was written. By Michael H. Hart, and Michael H. Hart, he was a historian, he was a mathematician, and and he was an astronaut. 世界に最も影響を与えた100人、1978年に発行された本ですけれども、こちらマイケル・ H. ハート教授、天文学、物理学、科学史の専門家この方の著作を紹介します。In this book, The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. Michael, Michael H. Hart, an American, he lists the hundred most influential people in the world. And he gives the ranking one, two, three, four, and he gives the reasoning for why has he ranked number one, number two, number three, right down till number hundred. 彼はこの本において人類に影響を与えて100人を取り上げ、すべてのランキングにおいて名前とともにその理由を示しています。He names Asoka. He names Aristotle. He gives the name of Buddha. He gives the name of Confucius. この本においてアショカオやアリストテレスやブッダの名前なども挙がっています。But the most shocking amongst all is he gives number one to the last and final messenger of Islam to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. この本が人々を驚かしたのは一番。人類に与えた人としてムハンマド原社様を取り上げたからです。People would worry, people would wonder, why has this American in America, why has he given a Muslim as number one, the most influential persons in history, right from Adam till today? Why? We would wonder why. なぜこのアメリカ人の教授は著作の中で一番にマハンマディオ原社様の一人のを持ってきたのか、すべての人は疑問を持ちました。この本の中で、イーサー様は3番も、ムーサー様は15番となっています。Would be Americans. More than 300 million Americans, they are Christian and Jews. So why should he place the person who they believe 
as the main important person as number 3 and number 15. この本の読者の大半はクリスチャンあるいはユダヤ教徒であるアメリカ人でした。その彼らにとって重要な預言者たちが、日本の預言者様よりも下にありました。マイケル・エチャート、He gives reasonings for his decision。And he says that Christianity is approximately double of Islam when he wrote the book a few decades earlier. That Christianity is approximately double of Islam, but Prophet Muhammad has been responsible for the development of Islam much more than Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has been responsible for the development of Christianity. マイケル・ハート教授によりますと、クリスチャンはイスラムの人口の倍はその当時いるけれども、ムハンマド預言者様が全米の人、ムスリムに対して責任を持つほどジーイエス、イーサー様は現在のクリスチャンに対して影響を及ぼしていないということです。He says there are two reasons. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was responsible for the ethics and the moral perspective of Christianity. And then Paul, he was responsible For the theology of Christianity and in proselytization and in setting the rules of Christianity. この中でイーサー様はジクリスチャンにとってのイエスですけれどもこちらは倫理や哲学あるいはクリスチャンのルールの中に影響を与えています。Whereas Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him He was responsible for both. He was mainly responsible for the development of the theology of Islam as well as the ethics and the moral perspective of Islam. He was also a proselyzer and he was the person who established the rules and implemented the rules of the religion of Islam. 一方で、ムハマド・ゲンサ様はイス,ラムのムハイスラムにおいて倫理哲学だけではなく、その行動規範となる法的な面においても影響を及ぼしています。That is the reason Michael H. Hart, he plays with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon number one, Jesus Christ, peace be upon number three, and St. Paul as number six. そしてこれこそが、ハート教授が一番にムハマド・ゲンサ様を与え、を。おき3番にイエスをイエスイザ様を置いた理由になります。And we have to agree that Michael H. Hart was very bold and very truthful because we know that St. Paul is the main person who has written about Christianity and more than half of the New Testament is written by St. Paul. Out of 27 books of the Old Testament, 14 books have been attributed to St. Paul. ハート教授はこの本の中で6番目に聖書を記載、新約聖書の記者であるパウロを置いています。このことに対してハート教授は非常に正直な方です。It really requires guts for a person who's writing a book in America. The main audience are American, the main people, and they know that in that country, There are so many books written against Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him. Yet he goes out of his way, he's honest and he has the guts to agree that Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him was the most influential person in human history. In America, there are many many books of Islam that are against Islam, and many books of Christians that are against Christian, and many books of Christian that are against Christian, and many books of Christian that are against Christian, and many books of Christian that are against Christian, and many books of Christian that are against Christian, and many books of Michael Echard further writes and he says, My decision to place Muhammad, peace be upon him, on top of the most influential person in history will be shocking to some. And some would challenge it. But the reason I put Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the only human being in the world who was successful in both religious. And secular affairs. ハート教授は言っています。私がムハンマド
を人類,のも人類に最も影響を与えた人間としたことは多くの人を驚かせまたそれに反対するものも多いであろうしかし彼こそが人類において唯一宗教の面および世俗の両面で成功を収めた人間なのである There was an article that came in Time magazine, and we know that Time magazine is one of the most popular weekly magazines in the world. An article came on the 15th of July 1974, and on the cover page it mentioned who are the history's great leaders. So, what Time magazine did, they requested the historians, the writers, the businessmen. To comment who do they think are the best leaders in the world, in the history. Time Shi, Korea, or whatever was still on the second Motomo, Yumena, Shukashi, and Hitos, and Skeva, Mokono, Nakade, Tokshuga, Kamari Master, the Kishijo, Jindu Shijo, Motomo, Motomo, Saiko, no leader, Wadarika, to look Tokshuga, Kamari Master. From those who gave the opinion, many they mentioned the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They could not resist but mention the fact. One such person, his name is William McNeil. William McNeil is a historian from the University of Chicago, USA. And he says that if leadership has to be judged by the impact, I would say the world's greatest leaders were Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, maybe Lenin. Possibly Mao. But if you have to implement anyone today, in today's age, I would say John F. Kennedy. William McNeil is a Chicago University professor. He says that the leadership of the world is a very important part of the world. The world is a very important part of the world. リーダーというものはイエス、ブッダ、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、ムハンマド、マグニールは自分が挙げた人たち、自分がなぜその人たちを挙げたか理由は挙げませんでしたけ、述べませんでしたけれども、彼はその人類の中で偉大な人間の一人としてマハマド元社様をピックアップしました。There's another person by the name of James Gavin. He is a retired lieutenant general in the U.S. Army, and he writes. And he says that amongst the world's greatest leaders in history are Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus, and Buddha and Confucius. And he says, James Gavin, that Muhammad, Jesus, maybe Lenin. And possibly Mao. And in the present time, it may be John F. Kennedy. This was mentioned by James Gavin. James Gavin, American 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 で彼が言うには、存命中の人間であれば、ジョン・ F ・ケネディを挙げました。Here, James Gavin goes out of his way and places Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as number one 
amongst the world's greatest leaders in history. そしてこのジェームス・キャビンはムハンマディア元社様が一番,有一番偉大なリーダーであると言っています。ウィリアム・マキニーナは言っています。Are to judge, then the world's greatest leaders are Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, and Confucius, the prophets of the religion. But William McNeil was on the Kekakara Miron of the Araba, yes, to Buddha, to Muhammad, and Jesus, and to Dokyo, no, so Kaisi Shaga, and I'm a leader to stay in us. Another person by the name of Jules Massaman. Who was a psychoanalyst in the University of Chicago? Before he gives the answer, he puts down his criteria that a leader should cater to three things. A leader should fulfill three conditions. Number one, provide the well being of the led. Number two, provide A social organization where the people feel relatively secure. And third is that he gives one set of beliefs to the people, provides one set of beliefs to the people. ジョン・マックスマン、彼は心理学者ですけれども、彼は偉大なリーダーの名前を挙げる前にリーダーの要件を挙げました。その,その要件には3つあり、1つは彼の,そのリーダーに付き従う人たちにとって土地を与えること、安全を与えること、そして信心を与えることです。If these three are the criteria for judgment of a great leader, he said that Gandhi and Confucius may be leaders. In the first sense. And. この3つの条件に当てはめるのであれば、ガンディ、そしてあるいは同居のものは一番目最初のものだけに当てはまります。I'm sorry, he said that Lenin and Sach would be leaders in the first sense. 最初の部分。を満たすものがまずリーダーということになります。ガンディ and Confucius in one hand and Alexander and Caesar and Hitler on the other hand would be leaders in the second sense and maybe in the third sense。からその先ほどの基準に当てめますと、アレクサンドル大王やヒトラーは第二番目のところまで当てはまることになります。Jesus and Buddha。Would be leaders only in the third sense. しかし、イエスやブッダは三つのうち最後のものしか当てはまりません。But the greatest leader in human history would be Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who fulfilled all the three senses. And Moses somewhat did the same to a lesser extent. しかしながら偉大なムハマド預言者様はこの3つの基準すべてを当てはめに当てはまっております。Imagine a Jew in America is saying the greatest leader after giving criteria in the history was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him。アメリカにいるユダヤ教徒にとってムハマド預言者様は一人の偉大なリーダーであるということです。There was a person by the name of Professor Ramakrishna now, who was a Hindu, and he wrote a book, Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. Hindu no Yumanistan is doing a remas to Muhammad Yugensha Sama, Islam no Yugensha Dialu. In this book, he takes the help of Hitler's words. What are the criteria? That Hitler thought, who is a genius, and he quotes Hitler, and he says that a good theorist 
seldom is a good leader and a agitator is much better he has the qualities of a leader and a person who sets rules may not be a good leader彼の言葉はどういうもの天才というのはどういうものかという裏の言葉を借りて紹介していますその中で理想主義であることまた法ルールを作り出すことと言っていますまあ、the a person who's an agitator and a person who's a leader and rarely it's very difficult and rare to find such a combination of all three in any human being if it's there it will be a genius this was said by hitler ta motto mo tensai teki na mono toyu mono wa risou ga ari それをまた指導することができることが天才の条件ですがこの三つがすべて備わっている人間というのを探すことは非常に難しい状態にありますですからこの三つがすべて備わっている人間は天才と呼べるのですアフターコーティングヒトラープロフェッサーラマクリシナ
タブリー・フタニカ百貨店による、百貨事典によれば、ムハマディ・ゲンシャ様は最も成功した宗教のリーダーだと書かれています。People lay an allegation that Islam was spread by the sword. And this allegation, the reply to this allegation is given very clearly and explicitly by the Lacey O'Leary in the book Islam at the Crossroad on page number eight. Denise O'Leary is a very famous historian and he writes that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword, is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Thomas Carlyle says in the book Hero and Hero Worship, he writes the book The Hero Prophet, and he says Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his hero prophet. And he writes in the book that first you have to get your sword. Every new opinion originates in the mind of one. In one man's head, it dwells alone. One man in the full world. One, one man against all the men. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. He should first find his sword. He's talking about the sword of intellect, the sword of love, talking the sword of mercy. しかし、ムハマド預言者様について本を書いた人は言っています。ただ一人の人間が多くの人間に対したとき、そこで振りかざすべき権威は言葉,言葉であり、愛です。ラーマティン、in the book、The History of the Turk、he writes that if, if the grandeur of design and the pettiness of means and the measure of results are the three criteria for a genius, then there is no man in modern history. Who can come close than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? The Ramatin in your river, Tensai to Monoga, Ida in Asian to Monoga, Sono in Ariva, Ho Ho, Soste, Sono Kekani, Ote, Hakara, and Dereba, Hinda, and Yote, Muhammad against the Samani, and Arabi, or Hito, and I to eat them. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as I mentioned, and as Allah says. In the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, it says, Wama at Salaka illa Ramadil Alameen, that we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy to all the human beings. The Quran is the most important thing. Muhammad is the most important thing. The Quran 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 is Of peace and mercy for humanity has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. Wa akhiru dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. そしてスピーチの最後をこの言葉で締めくくりたいと思います。アダンピアソンという人が言っています。アラブのアラブの地域に落とされたイスラームの爆イスラーム爆弾この愛にも愛の爆弾愛のに満ちた自愛自愛に満ちたイスラームの爆弾を私は最も恐れている。はいあのありがとうございます。えー、これはここで一旦休止しまして。あのまえー、マグリブのサラート、ムスリムの方はマグリブのサラートの準備をしていただき、えー、その後にあのにクエスチョン・アン・アンサーを再開いたします。再開予定は、えー、4時50分あすいません、えー、4時50分から5時の予定であります。それであのムスリムの方はサラーに行かれますけれども、あのムスリムでない方はこのままここであのお待ちになるか。
あのお茶と飲まれて、えー、構いませんただしあの入室に関しましては先ほどで同様にあのムスリムでない方を先に入選させていただきますムスリムの方は今座っている座席にもう一度座れる保証はございませんそれからあのカメラ、えー、ムービーはちょっと撮影はあのもしお好みになりませんそれから携帯電話のバナーモードにお願いいたしますそれではムスリムの方はあの押さないように十時あの、えー、マグレムの時間はですね四時四十分ですあと十分後にマグレムの時間になりますクエスチョンのアンサーは五時か五時十分前にまた再開の予定です。えー、クエスチョンのアンサーは日本人の方、あのの無スリムでない方を優先させていただきます、えー、右の方のマイクが男性、左の方のマイクが女性、えー、順番に並んでいただくことになります。質問は一人一つ、まとを絞った質問でお願いいたします A short break for m a g r e t prayer. m a g r e t will azan is 4 40. And again, when you come back, you are not sure to take your seat again because Japanese and non Muslims are have a priority. So please bring your bags and your uh, and your everything. Okay, from that night.
Now we come. Now we come to the second part of the program, which I believe is more interesting, which is more interesting than the first part. The first part was a one-way traffic; it was a monologue. Non-Muslims in the queue, they should be asked to come in the front of the mic. So I request that there should be a lady volunteer here on the left. There's a mic for the gent on my right, and a mic for the ladies on the left. Please give opportunity for the non-Muslims to ask first. They are our guest of honor today. And after the questions of the non-Muslims have got exhausted, then we'll allow the Muslims to ask the question. それでは質疑応答の第二部に入りたいと思います。質問される方はまず最初に名前と所属をもおっしゃってください。またこの会は本日のメインのゲストであるムスリムではない日本人の方を優先させていただきたいと思います。先生向かって右側には男性左側のマイクには女性また列の中にノンムスリムの方がいらっしゃる場合はぜひムスリムの方はその方に順番を先に譲っていただきたいと思いますアッサラマレイ君、えっと、僕の名前は宮本ハンマドゥーナですイエスイエス Allow non Muslims to ask the question first. I request the volunteers that please ask, even in the ladies' section, the non Muslims can come in the front. I, I request that if there are any ladies. Non -Muslim. 繰り返しますムスリムではない方に質問の優先権を差し上げてください。今、ムスリムの方、列に並ん質問の列に並んでいるムスリムの方は、ムスリムの方に順番を譲って、後ろにお回りください。Okay. We'll give first chance to the lady first. Yes, sister. それでは女性の方からどうぞ。Thank you, Dr. Mike.My name is Yoko Ida.I'm from Tokyo. 私は Yoko Ida と申します。東京から参りました。I have a question concerning that Muhammad and the best example of humankind and, he, and his and my journey to Jerusalem. 私が質問したいことは、モハメッドが一晩でエルサレムに行ったという話についてなんですが、えー、と今どう考えてみてもですね、あの当時メッカからエルサレムまで一晩で行けるっていうことは無理だと。ロバかロマンのロマンに羽が生えていて顔が非常に美しい女性だったそういった馬に乗って一晩で飛んだそして天国に行ってモーゼとかイエスとかにもあったそこでって言ってるんですが問題なのは彼がこのモハメドが言ったことは明らかに嘘でありまあ、私たちから見ればですね、私たちから見れば大きな嘘であるわけですよね。それが大引いてですね、現在のパレスチナ問題なんかにもつながっている。で、まあ、イスラム教徒がモハメッドが行った聖地だからということで、エルサレムとあのヨルダンの,の境にあるところに自分たちの息子を立てて、えっと、紛争の火種としてしまった、根源としてしまった。もちろんあのイスラム教徒の人たちは、ね、イギリスが悪い。えー、とアラビアのロレンスが裏切ったとか英国が悪いとか言いたいかもしれませんけどもその大元の原因というのはモハメドの嘘にあると思うんですねこの嘘を,をこんなそんなに人間にとって一番ベストエグザンプルという人がついたということはムスリムも嘘をついていいということでしょうかああの質問のポイントをちょっとあのまとめてあのお願いいたします。えっと、質問のポイントは何でしょうか。I'd like to ask you this question. You know, you Muslims believe that the Muhammad's night journey to Jerusalem overnight, and so it is a blatant lie, and it's apparent, and he lied to his people and also the, to the people in those those days, and the Kurdish people also criticized him for lying, telling such a lie. 
And then Mohammed said, and so he did it in the overnight. But people still can believe you, in the you line. Repeat, can you repeat? Yeah, do you do you believe in that? You know, just because of the line, we have so many issues in in that area. Can you and repeat the question, sister? Because you're speaking Japanese oh, okay. and suddenly spoke English. I didn't realize when you started speaking English. So can you repeat the question, please? My question. My question. Please, please. one minute, Brother Atul. Take both. Both of you take the question. Where is the director? Director is the fool or what? Both the cameramen should take the question, na? It's so easy. Such a good order. Means that both of the both of them should get us, na? Itni akal le tum logo kya? Director ki zarurat tum logo kya? Both of them question ko lo na? Baad mein jen jayega jen pe lo ek ke baad ek ho raha na? Well, this is a question. I love to ask you. Why do you Muslims believe in such a blatant lie, you know, told by the Muslim in the Muhammad? It is very clear that he couldn't travel to the Jerusalem overnight. Ah, you ask me a question that why are the Muslims telling a blatant lie that Prophet Muhammad travelled to Jerusalem overnight? That's the question. Why do Muslims believe in the Muhammad's lie? If Muhammad is the best example of the humankind, should the Muslims in a lie according to him? Sister, are you a Christian? No, I'm a free thinker. Free thinker. Okay, fine. You know, the Bible says that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. <laughs> Prophet Moses parted the sea. I'm sorry, I don't believe in the Bible either. You know, so you, you cannot no, convince me with I'm those in a fairy answer. tale. I have not finished my answer, sister. Let me finish the answer, and then you can say. We believe that the prophets of Almighty God did miracles. So when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1, that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's called as night journey. He traveled from Mecca to the furthest mosque, that is Jerusalem. You saying, why do we believe in a lie? This is a miracle. You are a free thinker. I'm not a free thinker. I'm a Muslim. That's the difference between you and me. Now why I am a Muslim, you should have come to my talk yesterday where I proved the existence of God. You are a free thinker who does not believe in God, correct? That's right. Yesterday my topic was, does God exist? I don't intend giving the full talk here, it's a one and a half hour talk. So if you would have come yesterday, by now you would have been convinced that there is God and you would have been convinced that this Quran is the word of God. Now your question. Is it possible for someone to travel from Makkah to Jerusalem overnight? Even you can do it, even I can do it, by plane. Hmm. Prophet, it's a rhetoric question. Huh? Well, she, would she like to translate into Japanese for the Japanese audience? No, it's difficult. Let's finish. Take too much time. Okay. So, it is, you can travel. At that time, the plane wasn't there. He traveled from Mecca to, to Jerusalem. It's a miracle. There are many miracles mentioned in the Quran. For example, Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. It's a miracle. Moses, peace be upon him, threw the staff and became into a sick. Miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is something which cannot be proved scientifically and logically. Miracle is beyond the capacity of a normal human being. So if a normal human being something he does, which is not possible to prove logically or scientifically, it's called a miracle. If I can prove logically, it's not a miracle. Today if I say I travel from Makkah to Jerusalem in one night, it's not a miracle. Even you can do it, even I can do it. At that time, when Prophet traveled, yes, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. So what we have to realize that these are prophets of God. God is the creator of the universe of the human beings and God Almighty chooses a man amongst men to communicate his message with the other human beings and this chosen men of Almighty God we call as prophets and messengers of God. So as I said in my lecture, Almighty God has sent several messengers by name 25 are mentioned in the Quran, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a miracle. For example, this Quran. 
Yesterday I gave a talk, does God exist? And I proved that this Quran has got more than 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. What we came to recently about the Big Bang, about the shape of the, the fairy tale, light of the moon is reflected, the sun is rotating, which I did not know in school. All these things are mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Scientifically, no one can explain how can this book mention 1400 years back about the Big Bang, which we came to know just 35, 40 years back. It's a miracle. How, how, how did we come to know 14 years back that the shape of the earth is geospherical? Miracle. When I was in school, I learned that the sun is stationary, did not rotate about the axis. The Quran said that 40 years ago. How is it possible? It's a miracle. So with this, I go to prove about embryology, about botany, about biology. All scientific things that we came to know recently, 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back, is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Who could have mentioned this? It is the Creator, who we call as Almighty God. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going from Makkah to Medina, sorry, Makkah to the furthest mosque, Jerusalem, it's a miracle. And this is proving that he is a prophet of God. You and I cannot do miracles. The prophet of God, miracles are done by Almighty God through the prophet of God. Hope that answers the question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. But if the, your God isn't so great, you know, why didn't you turn the whole world into the Islamic nation? And why didn't you just snap the fingers and tell the world, you know, turn it into Muslims, you know? Then you don't have to fight. Sister and has asked a very good question. People. Ask a short question. Sisters ask a very good question. Why didn't your God turn everyone into Islamic nation by snapping? This reply is given in the Quran. God knew you were going to ask this question. I don't think so. Then how is the reply already mentioned in advance? That well, is logic. It's a coincidence. Not quite many people ask before you. So God knew you were going to ask and God knew others are going to ask. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if Almighty God wanted, He could have made all the people in the earth as Muslims. But why do you, that's the reason, don't force anyone to believe without their free will. What's the Quran? Because Almighty God has created various creations. All the other creations of God, besides human being and jinn, they have no free will of their own. If all would have become what God wanted, then there have been angels. Angels have no will of their own. Whatever God says, they follow. That's a different creation. Almighty God created a different creation, the human beings, which has the free will to obey or disobey God. If God made all of us obey Him, then we would be like the angels. Then where is the test? So Almighty God created this special creation called as human beings, which have the ability to go against God or follow God. This is the test. For example, when, when a teacher teaches the students, the students appear for an examination. If the student has the textbook with them, them and then write directly from the textbook, then where is the test? The test is whether do they remember, do they follow the teaching of the teacher or not. So this life is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Al-Lazi khalaq al wal hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you which of you is good indeed. This life we are undergoing, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Almighty God says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 155, Surely will test you with fear, or with hunger, or with loss of life, or with goods that we have earned. Almighty God says, your children, your wife, your wealth are a test for you. So all this is a test for us. This is we are undergoing a test, sister. So what question you are going to ask? There are many things mentioned in the Quran. And Almighty God knows that certain people will question certain things. So that's the reason this we are undergoing is a test whether we follow the commandment of God or not. Hope that answers the question. Yes. But see the facts. Uh, no, no, so 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 what we'll do, one question. You Thank can you ask, very much. What you can do, sister, you can go behind the queue of the non-Muslims and wait for a third chance. So you ask two uh, questions. So you can go behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Yes, there, 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 there.
じゃあ,あの次の質問、えー、男性でしょうか、えー、ネクスクエスチョンお願いしますあ、おにあ、おにあ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あす、はい、すすみませんちょっと待ってくださいあの簡単にどういう話ですかあ、ね、えー、ね。はいえっと、先ほどの質問は、えー、最高の、ノアマで予言あ質問内は日本語でされてたので大丈夫ですねで、回答に関しましては、えー、聖書において海を割ったというモーセの、モーセ容疑者ムーセさん、ムーサ様の、えー、っと表現がありますけれども、マハマド預言者様に関わるだけではなく、預言者という,者という存在は奇跡を起こすものです。我々はムスリムなのでアラが、えー奇跡を起こすということを信じています。で、また我々今の実態には飛行機において行くことは一日で行くことは可能ですけれども、ムハマド預言者様の時代にはそれは不可能であったということは明白な事実でありますから、ムハンマド預言者様のムハンマド預言者様の旅は奇跡である。昨日の神によって選ばれた人間であり、選ばれた人間である預言者様というものは25人クルワに明示されております。最後にして最終の預言者様であるムハンマド預言者様が奇跡を行う奇跡があったということは何ら不思議ではありませんまたそのようなことをなぜ信じられるのかと言われれば今昨日の講演にもお話ししましたけれども科学的に今現在知られていることが1400年前のクルに下されたクルアンに書かれておりますクルアンに書かれていることは科学的に証明ができるものでありまして1400年前にそのようなことを記載できるのはそ全ての事象の創造物であられる全能の神のみですですからメッカからイエルサレムへの一晩の旅夜の旅は預言者である証になりますまたなぜ、えー、アンラーが全能であるならば全世界をムスリムにそして全ての人間をイスラムにしないのかという質問に対してですけれどもその質問はすでにクルアンの中にいろんなクルアンの中でアンラーによってその質問がされることは想定されておりその答えも書かれております私たち人間というものはアンラーの創造アンラーの非創造物として自由な意思を与えられておりその自由な意思というのはアンラーのオーダーに命令に従うかどうかというものを試されていますもし何も考えずに全て言われたことをにきちんと従うというものであればそれは人間ではなく天使ということで人間にはその試験を受けるという才能才が能力がアンラーによって備えられていますそれわれはこの人生現世を来世へのテストとしてとアンラーにアンラーの命令を従うかどうかというのを人生を通して試されているのですありがとうございますじゃあ,あの次の,あの男性の質問簡単に、はい、あの名前と,と、はい、えっと僕の名前は西川拓也と申します。22歳で今大学生です。えっと僕の質問はあの今言ってた通りあの今の時代はあのライフは未,未来へのその来世のテストと言ってたんですけどなぜそのテストをするんですかでそして何のために天国を作ったのでしょうか。はい、ありがとうございます。My name is Nishikawa. I'm a student from university.、Uh, my only question is why, this, why human beings have to go to test for hereafter and why There is a hereafter. Here, why hereafter is exist?、Uh, uh, you told that this life is a test for hereafter. Why there is a test for hereafter? The brother asked the question that I said there was a test for the hereafter. So, why is there a year after? Normally, when we appear for an examination, after we pass the examination, we get a reward. So, if you pass, you get a reward. If you fail, you don't get a reward. So, similarly, this life, as I mentioned, is a test for the year after, according to Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. It says, It's Almighty God who has created you. You get a reward by going into paradise in the year after. If you don't follow the commandments and you fail the test, then you get a punishment by going to hell. 
And this is the concept in most of the religion that if you pass, you go to paradise, heaven. If you fail, you go to hell. Hope that's the question. Uh, I'm so, uh, sorry. So my question is like, uh, why God uh, creates heaven? Why don't you ask in English directly? It's better. <laughs> Why don't you ask the question in English directly? Okay, sorry. Uh, ask, speak in English directly. Okay. Uh, why God creates heaven? To give you reward. Why, why heaven exists? God created heaven and hell. If you follow his commandment, he gives you a reward. For example, for example, if your child listens to you, give him a chocolate and you give him a reward. Correct? So heaven is a reward for the human beings who follow his commandments. And hell is a punishment for the human beings who don't follow his commandment. So he has created heaven and hell both. <coughs> so if you follow his commandment and you obey the law, you go to heaven, that is paradise. In paradise, Whatever you desire, you'll get. You know, here you have to struggle, etc. There, everything is peaceful and you enjoy. Till eternity. Forever. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you very much. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want to go to heaven? Uh, no, 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 no. Heaven. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, heaven. heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Heaven. So do you believe in one God? Yes, sure. Do you believe in one God? Yeah. One God you believe? Do you believe in one God? One God, yeah, Allah. Yes, you believe that? <laughs> do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe yeah. that Prophet Muhammad he is the messenger of God? Ah, uh, yes, sure. You believe? Yeah. There are, there are two things required. There are two things required for anyone to become a Muslim. Number one, you have to believe that there is one God creator, the Allah. Yeah. And we have to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So if you believe in these two things, you become a Muslim. You enter the school of Muslim. These are the two main kinds. Other things are later on. If you believe in these two things, you can join Islam, become a Muslim, and later on keep on following. And inshallah, we will pray that you go to heaven. So would you like, would you like to become a Muslim? Would you like to become a Muslim? But Would you say it in Arabic, what we said in English now, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Would you like to say it in Arabic? You know what I said in English now? <laughs> Ask in Japanese, does he believe that there is one God? Hello. イスラム、ムスリムになるのに必要なのはまず信仰告白になります。その中で求められているのは神はアルラの他に神はなし、そしてムハンマド預言者様は神神の預言者である。ノットソファーシステムノー。アイセッツリーワードユアトランスレーティ
アラビア語で繰り返しますかアラビア語で繰り返すことでシャハダすることになりますおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおアラー、モハマダン、モハマダン、アブドゥ、アブドゥ、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフルフル、ワルフル Of Allah, of Allah. MashaAllah, you have become Muslim. I'm not talking about Muslim. I pray to Allah s u b h a n a I request the organizers that if they can give a Japanese translation of the Quran to the brother, and I pray to Almighty God that may He give you more guidance and put you in Jannah so that we too can meet in Jannah, inshallah. Jesus. We will meet in Jannah. I request the organizer that if you can take his name and phone number so that you can be in touch. Can you shake him? And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to ask any Muslim organization here. You can write the email to me also. You're most welcome. And I pray to Allah that may he give guidance to you and put you in Jannah, inshallah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. The person. Right. Sikhi Nandi say, yeah, I want to ask you. Ah, mother? アクシエリタイ。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとあの撮影カメラ動画はできるだけあのお下げください。いやあのじゃあ次のあネクストの方よろしくお願いします。名前と簡単なバックグラウンドと質問。お願いします。えっと私の名前は鈴木桃子です。えっと職業は医者をやっております。でえっと今日はあのこのヒジャブを着ていますが私はあのムスリムではありません。今日、今まで勉強してきてシュハーダを今日ここでしていただきたいと思ってこの格好で,で,すですみませんその,その前にあの一つだけ質問させていただいていいですかあのあシスモモコあモモコ鈴木鈴木、uh, ドクター She, was, she has been studying about Islam all, of, all these days and then she's prepared to take that shahada now. Before that, before that, so she's like to ask you. あの私は医者でずっと医学部で大学であの医学を勉強してきましてその中ではあの豚肉が特にあの健康に悪いっていう情報はあの勉強したことがなかったのであのそれについて私の不勉強もあると思うのであのどうしていけないのかどうか先生にお伺いしますし。Medicine, doctor, then, uh, uh, she has been studying medicine as a doctor and then she has been studying medicine as a doctor. She admits that she, her study is not good enough to know the correct answer regarding to why eating pork is being forbidden. So,、uh, would you please answer、sure. me for that、uh, scientific、sure. reason? So, I will answer, I will say three, four sentences to translate. It will be better. Yes,、okay. thank you. Pork has been prohibited in the Quran in no less than four different places. コラーンはあのコラあのすみません豚はですねコラーンの中で四箇所において禁じられています。It is prohibited in それマイダチャプター5 was number three in それバクラチャプター2 was 173 in それアナムチャプター6 was 145 and それネヘルチャプター16 was 150。ちょっと早く言っていけなかったんですけど。Allah says in the Quran h u r r i m a t alaykum al maitu tu wadda mu walamun kinzi wa ma uhilla li gare la bi forbidden for you for food ah dead meat Blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken. Butanik, 
ベルビー血肉ライジョッソワイン血肉血,がな血,あの血のついた肉、うん、それからアンナー以外にアンナー以外の名が唱えられてものそれからアンナー以外のものに捧げられた肉は禁じられているとポーキーズ also prohibited in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 8 in the book of <laughs> Isaiah chapter 65 verse number 5 as well as book of Leviticus chapter number 11 verse 7 and 8 Wow. Three places <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> Just it, it's probably in the Bible. <laughs> Let's come to the logical reason, scientific reason why pork is prohibited. Logical. Today, science tells us that if we have pork, there are chances of having more than 70 different diseases. 豚肉を摂取すると70以上ものさまざまな病気にかかる確率があると。ピンワーム、ラウンドワーム、テープワーム、ユネミリディセ。医学用語わかりません。You being a doctor, you might have learned in your medical college something like tinea solium. You know tinea solium? Tinea solium is a medical word for tape worm. Repeat tape worm is called tinea solium. あのさ、テープワーム Tinea solium. This tinea, tinea solium, even if you cook the food very well, the ova does not die. The egg, the egg where the bloodstream can go to the brain and cause brain damage. でその寄生虫の卵が胃に残ってそれがやがては脳にまで行って。It can go to the eye and cause eye blindness. であの盲目を。Can go to the heart and cause heart damage. 心臓病の原因。Can go to the liver and cause liver damage. ねば肝臓病の。And this is very dangerous. By the time you know you're suffering from this disease, there's already irreparable, irreversible loss. 病気,を病,気に分かった病気が分かったときにはもうすでに手遅れの状態になってしまいます。There is one more disease called as tinea trichuriasis. Tinea trichuriasis is the medical term. Tinea trichuriasis. You remember something? Which year medical college are you in? Which year? First, second, third. Which year is she studying in? Medical college. もう卒業されてます何年生ですか医学生何年生ですかって聞かれてます。あ、もう卒業して医者4年生。She's already graduated. She finished. She finished. She finished. Ah, so we Since learned in medical college about tinea trichuriasis. It is a worm that stays in the human body and causes damage. Today, science tells us that when you have pork, it has more of fat building material than muscle building material. Fat building. <laughs> The pork has got fat in it. And that's the reason you have atherosclerosis. You know atherosclerosis? In Japanese, I think for atherosclerosis, it's atherosclerosis. <laughs> atherosclerosis means a fat is deposited on the vessels of the blood vessels. Hmm. Atherosclerosis. It's a medical word. And you have hypertension. Hypertension, high blood pressure. By having pork. I understand. MashaAllah, you understand. Huh? And that's the reason people, people who eat pork have got a lot of tires, you know, a lot of fat. And today science tells us that the pig stays in dirt and filth. It eats dirt and filth. It's a filthy animal. 今日の科学でよく知られていることですけども豚肉は泥やあのお物を食べ,食べるという、まあ、あの不浄な生き物です。And it's the only animal that enjoys seeing its wife, its mate having sex with the friend. It's the shameless animal. Most shameless animal on the face of the earth. 唯一の,その地球上における唯一の動物として自分の伴侶がパートナーが他の,ものオスとあの交尾をして喜んでいるというような。So、these are the few reasons why we Muslims don't have pork. So, you and Muslim are going to go to the market. I understand. I understand. Inshallah, you won't have pork. From today, you won't have pork. I don't want to eat pork. Mashallah, very good. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes. 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 Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. 
Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No. No. You are doing out of your own free will? MashaAllah. I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear. I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is. That is. No God. No God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant. And servant. Servant. Servant of Allah. Of Allah. Mashallah, you become. Tadbir. Allah Akbar. Tadbir. Tadbir. Allah Akbar. Inshallah, pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may give you more hidayah and may go to Jannah. Let your family members and your friends and many Japanese, thousands of Japanese come to Islam. あ、あの、早く、あ、宿屋、あ、早く、あ、ヒューイと申します。今日は、私は、えっと、イスラム、ムスリムではないですが、イスラム教には多くの教官を持ってます。But I think 大規模な戦争が起これば核兵器が必ず使われ核の浮遊闘技より人類が滅亡するのではないかと多くの人たちが心配しています。続けてください。それで核拡散、今年の核拡散防止条約では で、多くの国が核兵器の禁止に賛成しましたが、核兵器を持ってる国はみんな反対しました。はい、どうぞ。それで、今年の核拡散防止条約会議は結論が出なく誘拐になってしまいました。質問のポイントをお願いします。それで、この問題に対するイスラムの立場からのご意見と、そのご意見のもとになった車内しハディースの書いてある場所、箇所を教えてください。あ、えっと、この この核核兵器禁止に関するイスラムの立場とこの根拠になったクルアンナイシハディースを書いてある場所を教えてください。はい、ありがとうございます。The brothers posed the question <coughs> that today after science is advanced, we have nuclear weapon and nuclear weapon causes mass destruction and many countries got together but did not come to a conclusion that we should stop having nuclear weapon. He wants to know where does the Quran or Hadith say that not to use nuclear weapon is the question. Yes, yes. Point number one. Yes. Point number one. All these countries coming together and telling others don't make nuclear weapon all these are superpowers. They make their nuclear weapon themselves and then tell others not to make. First what they should do is destroy the weapon they have and then ask others not to make. It is hypocrisy. The big superpowers, America and all, they have their nuclear weapon. They make nuclear weapon and tell others not to make. It is double standards. If they really don't want any country to have nuclear weaponry, first they should destroy their nuclear weaponry. 
all the countries that have nuclear bomb should destroy the nuclear bomb and come together and say that there should be no nuclear weaponry, then I'll agree. They want to maintain their nuclear weaponry and tell others not to make so that they can bully them. This is double standard. And the worst attack, the biggest terrorist attack in humanity on anyone was on Japan in Hiroshima on the 6th of August 1946 where more than 350,000 human beings were affected. A few hundred thousand human beings died in a few minutes. This was the worst attack on human being. I call it the biggest terrorist attack. Done by whom? Done by USA. Done by America. Talking about peace. They are not doing war for peace. They are doing war on peace. See you again. Nihon go ni Can I translate? はい、え、核を持たない、え、共に書かない、核を持たないでいようという条約を結ぶにあたって、それがあの結論を見ず、お腹になってしまったという話ですけれども、その上で、あの、イスラムの立場をまた、コラーンやハディスの天気を教えて
あの、ギリシャ神話とかいうのは結構ですから。え、ただですね、私はあの、神が一人はいいと思うんですが、あの、あの、ま、マホメットが最後の預言者というのはちょっと問題があって、新しい預言者が必要になるのではないかと考えています。あ、he says, he says I New, new prophet, prophet after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What what is missing in this book? If everything is there, if this book has the solution for humanity, why do you want something new? Something new is required if this particular book doesn't fulfill the requirement. すでにあるとしたら、それ以上何を求めになるのでしょうか。例えば核兵器で全滅するとか、太陽があの赤色と星になって赤球の生物が全滅するとか、そういう新しい科学的知識はクラーンにもハディースにも書いてありません。あ、
Miki Mizunuma Miki, Tonai, is a employee. Miki Mizunuma uh, stay in Tokyo, uh, uh, employee in the, an employee at the company. えっと、アラブ諸国とま欧米とかなんですが、ま文化とか生活習慣の違いによるイメージの違いでこうやはりなかなかこう溝ができてると思うんですが、お互いが近づくためにはどのようなどのようなどのようなどのようなどのようなど
has given to the human beings in the Quran. The Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, which is the future world constitution. It's a common code. Tatoeba.会社大きな大会社を Today, there are about 2 billion Muslims, 2 billion. About 30% of the world population, they are Muslims. Irrespective whether they are staying in Japan or India or Pakistan or Saudi Arabia or UK, we have common code. I didn't know all the people except for one or two, I did not meet anyone before. When the time came for Salah, all went together and paid Salah. Because they have common boss. So if we come under a common, common leader, our common create almighty God, that's the only way we can unite and no other way. For example, in today's world, there are about 20 million Muslims in this world. ところが礼拝の時間が来ることで同じ礼拝の列に立って共に礼拝を捧げたわけです。それはなぜか、それはまでも唯一の創造主、唯一の神様のご命令に従うということで、ということで唯一の神、創造主に従うことで初めて世界
それをちょっとどうしてシャハーダが必要なのかというのを教えていただきたいと思います。My question is before that she, he said I do believe in one God and I do believe that the Muhammad is the last messenger of God そのままでありませんね。Uh, so the question is, what is the necessity of taking shahada? Because in the world, there are many Muslims who have gone through taking shahada. Many of them are good, but at the same time, many of them are not good. And also, in this, at the same time, there are many Japanese who have not taken any shahada. However, they are very good. So, what is the necessity of sh taking shahada? The brother asked a very good question. What is the necessity of taking shahada? Point number one that if you believe there is one God, and if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon him, you're already a Muslim. You don't have to say in public. Oh, It's between you and Allah. Okay, sure. Correct? All right. So, if you take halal, you're a Muslim. <laughs> Allah has but, 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 but. But yeah. I personally prefer that if you tell others, it's easy for you to practice. Time for salah. If no one knows, then maybe today you say, okay, I'll miss my salah, no problem. If you tell, it is better, it's easy for you to practice. If you think by telling your life is in danger, then don't tell. But if your life is not in danger, better you tell because it becomes easy for you to practice. If they know you're a Muslim, then they'll tell you, okay, come for salah. If they don't know, they will not tell you. If you're a Muslim, they say, yeah, salam alaikum, peace be on you. If you hide, how will we come to know? So telling is better, so that it's easy for you to practice and easy for us to help you and you to help us. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, I uh, but, uh, <laughs> you understood that? Mm -hmm. You understood? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, he understood. But Therefore, if you don't tell anyone, suppose the time for salah. If I don't know you're a Muslim, how will I call you? Now, when you come to Salah, in, if you pray in congregation prayer, you get 27 times more blessing. If you pray alone, you get less blessing. Sorry, so I'm sorry. Hi. Yes. Anata ga iwarere tori, sude ni yuiz no kami o shinji te orare te, Muhammad sama ga saigo no yuiz no kami no shito de aru to yukoto o shinji te orare naraba, sude ni anata wa mo Muslim desu. もうそれは唯一の神とあなたの間のこととしてもうすでにもうことはなっているとですけれども私先生曰く個人的には他の人にもあなたがムスリムであることを伝えてもらった方があなたにとってより今後ムスリムとして生きていく上で実践しやすくなるはずです大きな助けとなるんじゃないでしょうかともしそれを伝えていなかったならば例えば礼拝時間が来ても怠け心が頭をもたげてきた時にそれをあの逃してしまいかねないですけども周りに同胞がいてあなたがムスリムであるということを知っていたならば、えー、礼拝に誘ってくれたりですとかさまざまな助けを差し伸べてくれるでしょうということで、えー、あなたが今後もしとはいえもしあなたが生きていく生活していく上で、えー、そのシャハーダ信仰告白することが問題を起こしかねないということであればそれはあなたにお任せしますけどもそうでないならば。えー、伝えることを伝えて何が悪いんでしょうかとむしろあなたの助けにならずしそうすることで私たちもあなたを助けしたいしあなたにも私たちもを助けてもいただきたいと The brother asked a very good question that some Japanese become Muslim say the Shada some practice some don't practice I agree with you I agree with you totally now suppose there are 10 Japanese who come to ask question and I request them to say Shada if they don't say Shada 100% help If they say shada, 50% go back, 50% stay. Alhamdulillah. So at least 50% chance he will go to heaven. I'm doing a favor for him. People tell me, why do you force? I'm not forcing. I'm coaxing. I'm requesting. Why I'm requesting? Because I know, because I love you. I want you to go to Jannah. If I don't, On the day of judgment, God will ask me, why didn't you request this Japanese brother to say the Shada? Oh. Correct? So when I'm saying, the chances you will be 50%, even 25%, no problem. Better than 0%. If I don't say, you will continue, okay, I believe in our God, I believe in Muhammad, don't believe, you go, and you don't. 
you don't practice, you don't pray salah. Now when you say shahada, slowly, slowly it increases. Okay, now I've said the shahada, so some Muslim will come and say, okay, why don't you offer salah? They start offering salah. After a few days, okay, why don't you give charity? Why don't you help others? So by saying shahada, I do agree with you. 50% may go back, no problem. At least 50% will stay. If 50% I'm saving you from hellfire, Alhamdulillah, on the day of judgment, you'll thank me if you say the shahada. You'll thank me. Translate. あの、ゴアリの50%の人たちを地獄から天国に救っていることになるということで。はい。で、なぜそうするかといえば私はあなたのことが大好きだからですと。ありがとうございます。続けて質問してよろしいですか。So that's the I want to be with you together in one more question. Okay. Uh, so, shahada was little, shahada was little, if I shahada, and then I get to uh, ten of your keep place, Sorry? Uh, <laughs> heaven to ticket, no? So, so in the. Oh, no, 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 シャハダしなくてもいい人間がいて、これでちょっと自分には理解ができないんですけども、そのシャハダだけで切符を得られるっていうのは自分の中では is in the confusion that he heard a part of teachings of Islam that uh, taking shahada gives you, brings you a ticket to the Jannah, ticket to the paradise. Not ticket. <laughs> a ticket to paradise, but you have to board the train. If you buy the ticket and don't board the train, you won't reach there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, ticket. <laughs> but if you don't go on the train, the ticket is useless. Even if it's a bullet train, you know bullet train very fast in Japan. So you have to go on the train, so it gives you a ticket to enter. But you have to go on the train, you have to pray, you have to be good. Only taking ticket in the pocket will keep you in Tokyo only. まあ、言葉のあやでして、実際にいい行いをしている人間はえ、シャハダしなくても天国に行けるってことですか？それともシャハダをしないと天国には行けないということなんですか？Are you saying that those who are doing good deeds among those who are not taking shahada uh, cannot attain Jannah paradise? Yes. See shahad if they are doing good deeds but don't believe in one God and don't believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they shall never enter Jannah. They may be the best human being in the world. Maybe Mother Teresa. Have you heard of Mother Teresa? Mother Teresa? Mother Teresa. She got Nobel Prize. You know, very good, very good work helping people. But because to go to Jannah, there are four things required. In Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3, well, us, inna insana fi khus, that by the token of time, man is verily in loss, except those who have faith. So to go to Jannah, you require faith. You have to do righteous deed, exhort people to truth, that is to dawah, and exhort people to patience and perseverance. These are the minimum four criteria required for any human being to go to Jannah. Number one is Iman, believing there is Allah, believing in the Prophet and all the other things. Number two is good deeds. If you believe in Allah, believe in the Prophet, keep on robbing, telling lies, hurting others, then no. Second criteria is righteous deed. Third is exhorting people to truth, calling the other people to the truth. You know good, you are doing good deed, but not calling others, that's also wrong. And the fourth is calling people to patience and perseverance. For any human being to go to Jannah, minimum four things are required. Just by saying, I am a Muslim, I believe in Allah, I believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is not sufficient. All four are required. 
、えー、4つの条件を満たさないと天国には行けません例えばマザー・テレサのような非常にチャリティーに多く励まれた素晴らしい人がおられましたけども、えー、コロアンの第103章にあるように思考の唯一の神様が言っておられますが時にかけて誠に人間は喪失の中にあるただただ信じて良い行いをしお互いに真理を進め合いお互いに辛抱を進め合う者たち以外はと言われているように信仰良い善行それから真理を他の人たちをいざないかけることまた辛抱へといざないかけることという条件を満たさないと、えー、天国入りはできないと。There are six subjects compulsory to pass English, history, geography, science, six subjects. I pass in five. In maths, I get ten out of hundred. Fail. Will I pass the standard ten? Tatoeba, Daigaku Nushi no Shiken ga arimas. Loku Kyoka, Kisu no Kyoka to Shite Atta to Shimasho. Lexi ya Sugaku ya, Ano, Kokugo ya, Ego desu to ka. で6のうち6のうち5科目までは100点満点ですでも1科目数学だけはうまくできませんでしたそしたら入試合合格するでしょうかしないと思います No, he, he wouldn't get success That is the reason all four are required Only good deeds is not suffer Iman Saying Shahada is one of the things Then good deeds Then exhorting people to truth So only Shahada is not sufficient but If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you don't take shada, the chances are zero. So, this is a good thing. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, the chances are high. If you take the shada, もう一つ、シャハードしてもやっぱり良くない人間はいっぱいいますね。あの自分、仕事柄、多くのムスリムとすれ違あの<笑>会いますけども、いい人間も本当にたくさんいます。あの正直リスペクトしてますムスリムをただ良くない人間もいますねただ自分が思うにはムスリムは確かにいいけども悪い日本人もいい人もいれば悪い人もいる、まあ、ただの何だいうか人間ですよねその人間なわけでそのシャハーダをすれば、えー、きあきそ天国へ行けるというのはどういうことなのかなっていうのをちょっと教えていただきたいなと思います<笑>同じ質問されてませんかああすいません<笑> still, still He's still, he's still saying that those who have taken shahada among Muslims, there are good and there are not good ones. I agree, he, be, he should be I'm, the good one. I'm dealing with the, many of them. Correct. Which he, my business. I agree with him. Yes, and uh, among Japanese non Muslims, there are many good people. So, ah, so, so point is, shahada やっぱり良くない人たちもいるのも確かなんですけどもその人たちも天国に行けるっていうことかっていう質問ですね、uh-huh. はい、はい uh, he's, he's asking those、uh, let's say evil Muslims not good Muslims、uh, are they also could be able to enter Jannah、no. paradise if they are not good Muslims、yeah. if they don't follow these four things they shall not enter Jannah unless Allah forgives them if Allah wants、Muslims. to forgive it otherwise normal circumstances They will not go to Jannah. 基本的には先ほど申し上げた4つの信仰と善行と真の進め合いと真の進め合い。でも、Allah is merciful, can forgive them if they have the ticket. Can forgive. 
as Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 448 and Surah Nisa chapter 416 if Allah pleases he may forgive any sin but the sin of shirk of associating partners with God he will never forgive というように条件を満たさない限り基本的には天国にはムスリムというのも入れませんただし一つ例外を除いてはそれは唯一の神様が許してくだされば、そういったいわゆる悪いムスリムでも入れます。で、その、よく聞いてください。はい、コラーンの中にはっきりと、唯一の神様は、アンナーは、すべての罪をお許しなさると。すべての罪をお許しなさると。ただただ、ただただ、かのお方に別の存在を神として並び立てるという、いわゆる多神崇拝ですね。以外は、それ以外は、どんな罪でもお許しなさると言われているということで。シャハ人工告白することで唯一の神様に許される可能性が出てくると。That is the reason when I take shahada, the first thing I convince don't do shit. Don't worship anyone but God. That is the biggest sin. If I stop this biggest sin, the chances you go to Jannah is very high. God may forgive other sin. So that's the reason in shahada I convince the person at least believe in one God. Other sins you do, little bit bad and cheating and all, God can forgive. The major sin you stop, biggest sin because he's your creator. You have to love him, you have to respect him. This sin of shirk, associating partners, if you don't do, the chances of going to Jannah is very high. This is the case of the Tashin Su Hai, which is the most important sin. In the case of the Tashin Su Hai, which is the most important sin, the Tashin Su Hai, which is the most important sin, is the most important sin. その一番大きな罪を取り除きさえすれば天国に行く確率は格段に高くなるというわけです。殺人とかもですか。Even killing people. Sorry. Even killing people. See, chances of love forgiving is less. The bigger sin you do, the chances of forgiving is less. One sin God will never forgive is shirk. The second biggest sin in Islam after shirk is killing people. Second biggest sin. あの人殺,人殺しというのは2つ目に大きな対策なので、えー、確率は低くなります。それから順に礼拝を捧げないことであったり、人殺しは2つ目に大きな対策です。Brother, you have not killed anyone, no? Yeah. <laughs> you have killed anyone? Have you killed anyone or not? Yeah. Have, you killed? have you killed yes or no? Ask him. Have you killed anyone? <laughs> of course. No, no. Maybe I have not killed. The chance is very high. So if you say, Shada, chance is good, you won't Jannah is very high. So what is your thing now? It's good to take Shada or not? Do you think it's good to take Shada or not? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's Inshallah. Yes, please. You believe there's one God? You believe there's one God? Yeah. You believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Yes. Is, any, <laughs> is, 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 is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you doing it out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Uh, Inshallah, I'll say in Arabic and you can repeat it. Yeah. Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness. 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 That that there is that there is there is there is no God. There is, there is a, no God, no God, but Allah, 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 Allah and and Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is, is the messenger, the messenger and, and servant, servant of Allah, of Allah. Allah. Mashallah, you become Muslim. Takbir, Allah, Takbir, Takbir. May Allah reward you. And I pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, may He guide you more. May he guide you more, and may he put you in Jannah, Inshallah. If we don't meet in Japan, we'll meet in Jannah, Inshallah. I don't want him to become like those Japanese which are bad. I want him to become those Japanese who take the shahada and are good. Ah, ano, shinko kokaku shite, 
なんですかあの名前だけのムスリムにはならないでくださいと深刻学をした以上これからさらに良きムスリムとなられる,なられることを期待していますありがとうございますインシャラはい。I have a question about. <laughs> I have been wondering why, what's the purpose of God, God's, God's creation of human being? What, what does He need for us? And I watched YouTube, your, um, your lecture, and you said, you answered that we all chose to be human. But before that, why God created human? As an option for us. Got it. Got it. Very good question. The sister said that what is the purpose of our creation in this world and why did God create human being? Human being is one of the best creations of God. All the other creation, for example, angel. Angels always obey God. Whatever He says they obey, they have no option but to obey 100%. We human beings, Almighty God gave a free will. You can either obey, Or you can disobey. So we are a different creation. Yes. That means all, all the other creation obey God 100%. We human beings have option of obeying or disobeying. Now, angels pass. Mountain is Muslim pass. And human beings have two options. If we obey after free will, we become superior than the angel. Okay. After free will, if you obey, you become superior than the angel. After free will, if you disobey, then you become like the Satan. So Almighty God asked, Who wants to become a human being? The Quran says, We were fool. The teacher says, No examination, I'll just give you pass 40 out of 100. Those who appear for examination can get 95, can get 60, can get 10. Correct? Those who don't appear for examination just pass 40%. We were fools, the Quran says. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get high marks. Okay, I'm appearing. If you know your subject well, what will you say to the teacher? No, no, no 40. I want 90. Mm -hmm. So we were fools that we opted for the choice. Mm -hmm. Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse 172, that Allah got the law in from Adam, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, got all the children asked, Who is God? We agree there's one God. Then the memory was washed. Even teacher teaches you, you have the textbook. But during the examination, the textbook is taken, correct? Yes. You can't have the textbook and sit with the examination. Then where's the test? Mm -hmm. So we agreed. The mountains were afraid. We human beings now, what is the purpose? The reply is given in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 56. Chapter 51, verse 56. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That it is Almighty God who created the man and the jinn, not but to worship him. So our main purpose in life is worshipping God. Worshipping God means obeying. Mm -hmm. Worship doesn't mean only prayer. Prayer is one type of worship. But if you obey the commandment of God, you are doing worship. Almighty God says, don't kill other innocent human beings. You don't kill. You are doing worship. Almighty God says, love your wife. If you love your wife, then you are doing ibadah, you are doing worship. Mm. Almighty God says, you have to respect your parents. If you respect your parents, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Almighty God. So that's the reason, if we have a common code, as the sister asked earlier, if we have a common rule, all will be peaceful. All will love the parents, all will love the wife, no one will. So then that's the only way peace can be in the world. Somebody else says, why to spend money on your parents, they have become old, put them in old age home. This is not commandment of creator. This is commandment of Shaitan, Satan. Oh, why you want to help your neighbor? Quran says, Surah Maun, help your neighbor. If you don't help, help your neighbor, you're not a Muslim. 
the prophet said he is not a muslim he is not a muslim he is not a believer unless the neighbor is safe from him means if the neighbor is afraid of me i am not a muslim the neighbor can be a non muslim the prophet said if you sleep with your tummy full and your neighbor sleeps sleeps hungry you are not a muslim if i have my proper dinner i sleep and my neighbor doesn't have dinner he may be a non muslim i'm not a good muslim yes i understand but before that why human is the option for us human or angels I we chose you. i give, no i give you an example teacher is saying to the full class if you don't appear for examination 40 out of 100 if you appear you can get 90 out of 100 95 out of 100 50 can get 10 also do you understand teacher is giving an option if you don't appear for examination 40 marks just pass you know 40 is the minimum for passing mm. so if you don't appear for examination just pass if you appear you can get 90 can get 95 can get 70 can get 40 can get 30 can get 10 can get 0 mm-hmm. so we human beings opted that's what the quran says we were fools do you understand yeah that's so right चिल्ड्रेन the children are test for you. god is giving you wealth do you give charity if you don't give charity means you're not a good human being yes. so all these are test sister the wealth your parents your wives your children so if you follow the commandments of god you pass and you get 90 95 i understand maybe you get 60 yes. but if you get below 40 then your choice was wrong mm-hmm. then you go to hell do you understand so, yeah i understand but why the test exists why god made the test टीचरेंटे distinction first class second class correct yes. so so you have to ask the teacher why why are you giving me test teacher because only by test can she tell you whether you have got 80 marks 90 marks 70 marks 50 marks you understand mm, yeah so this is the test system we are undergoing and in the test what you try to do you try and follow the rules and regulation of the textbook correct right. when you are appearing for a mathematics test or a science test yeah. you read the science textbook and what is mentioned the boys law this law is there newton law you study and you implement same way the textbook for living our life is only one textbook small na no? see nursery first standard to 12th standard so many books there is only one book yes one book and another few hadith about 12000 hadith this and that put together khara full life textbook so if you read this and you implement this inshallah you will pass maybe 80 maybe 90 maybe 95 correct sister mm. but why what does god benefit from the test ah very good very good question new question <laughs> <laughs> what does god benefit very good question mm. for example i say allah akbar allah is great what does god benefit by me saying allah wa akbar allah is, allah cannot become greater is already the greatest he cannot become greater whether i praise him or not why what the allah i tell you quran says in surah anam quran says to anfal that it is allah who is free of all bonds it is we human beings who benefit for example for example now suppose your mother has a heart attack and one person you know he is a famous doctor very famous he gives advice and another common man on the street gives you advice 
Which advice will you follow for your mother? The heart specialist or a common man? If your mother has a heart attack, お母さんが、あの、心臓病になってしまって、え、同居止まって、あの、心臓病患ったと、その時に心臓外科医の専門家に頼るか、ちょっと一般の人に頼るかどちらですか。ドクター。ドクター、ハートスペシャルベリーフ
the person is overfilled with joy. But would you like to say in Arabic, sister? No, 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 Ashadu. Don't take videos of me, please. No. Nope. <laughs> and don't post it on YouTube. <laughs> no problem. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. 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 Allah and Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger is the messenger and servant and servant of Allah. Of Allah. Masha sister, you're a Muslim and Allah. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. These are tears of joy. And when anyone takes a shahada, I get little bit of little bit of judgment that how well the person will practice. How dedicated is he? We try and take shahada as many as we can, but Allah gives a little bit of idea. Okay, this sister is more committed. This sister less committed may become more later on. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sister, that inshallah Allah gives you more hidayah and grants you jannah. And may you help other Japanese, other family members to come to Islam, sister. And I request the I request the Muslim sisters that see to it that if she has any need, if she has any requirement, you fulfill the requirement, inshallah. Jazakallah, sister, inshallah. Thank you. Where is the other sister? There were two sisters who asked the question. Huh? I thought I'll kill two birds with one stone. Sister, you have some question? Or were you convinced? Thank you. Sister, were you convinced with the answer? Of course. I'm feeling I wish I knew Japanese, you know? I know. 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 I couldn't understand because it was in English. <laughs> Can you translate a little bit? <laughs> a whole bunch of speech? <laughs> no, ask her that does she... Her main question was that why are we here? Mm. So did she get some answer of it? Was well, some you translated at least? Yeah. Why is this the え、神の言葉を受けて、あの、神の言うことを全て 100% 60点だけじゃない、合格点だけじゃなくて、70点、80点、90点、100点も得られるという可能性ができますよね。なので人間はそのチャレンジを受けたということで、人間はこの、この世界で、え、神の命に従うか従わないかのテストを受けていると。
ということでしてじゃあ神様は人間がその神に従うことで何,か何らかのメリットを得るのかといえば決してそんなことはありません例えばあの神の偉大さを称える上で私たちムスリムはその賛美賛美句を唱えます「アラーフ・アクバル」「アラーイズ・ザ・グレイティス」「アラーこそ最も偉大なお方」とでもそれによって神様はさらに偉大なお方になるでしょうかいえもうすでに偉大なのでそれ以上偉大さが増すことはありませんで他,他もしかりであくまでもメリットを得るのは私たち人間なわけですということで、えー、神様が何かメリットを得るわけではないのですであくまでも、えー、じゃあどうなのかといえば人間も含めて被造物は神の被造物神が作られた存在なので人間がいよいよその神に従ってそして天国に入れるなれば喜ばれますこれは間違いなく喜ばれますですけれども直接的なメリットを得るわけではないと Thank you. <笑>納得していただきましたかって言うんですけど<笑>、so、納得していただきましたかはい、Yes。Thank you very much.Do you believe there's one God?Yes. Believe?Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? れますかはい。ムハンマド様が神様の最後の人だということを信じられますかはい。Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the m e s s e n g e です。<笑>他の姉妹のようにムスリムになることを望まれますか、まあ、今はその時ではないと思いますので。She's saying it's not a time for me.Okay,、はい、inshallah, you study and read the translation of the Quran. 勉強してくださいますか。And inshallah, we pray to Allah to give you guidance. コロアンの訳を読ん,で読んだりなど勉強してくださいますか、はい、あ勉強したいと思います。Yes, I would study. Inshallah. And brother did a good job, mashallah. あまり宗教的なことではなくて政治的な話で申し訳ないんですけれども。あのムスリムの国づくりについての話を少し伺いたいと思っています。I apologize that my question is not directly relating to religious issues, but rather relating to political issues. And now I would like to ask you the,、uh, how Muslims try to establish their state, their country. <coughs> There is a question that how do the Muslims try to establish The state, the country. We want to follow the commandment of Almighty God. If where we stay, we are able to implement the commandment of God, this is the constitution of the Muslims. If we can use this in any country, if we can implement the commandment of God and the authentic hadith, that becomes the Islamic state. If everyone follows this law, what is mentioned in the Quran? And the authentic hadith, that becomes a state which is called the Islamic state. We are the Muslims who 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 are the Muslims. What we find in the media, people talking about, you know, I'm doing jihad, I'm doing Islamic State, all is not correct. If it matches with the Quran, it is correct. If it doesn't match, it's not correct. Many a time we are misguided by the media. あくまでもコラン預言者の原稿録に従って初めて正しくイスラムの国になり得るわけです。質問に続きがあったんですが、どうぞえーはい、とそのイスラム国なんですけれどもあの、やり方はもうムスリムの恐れではないとして、動機がそんなに間違ってたように思えないんですけれども、あのスニ派の方々ですか、あの政治的に抑圧されていて、まあ、あのうん正義の観点から言えば国を作っても許されるような立場にはあったのではないかと思うのですがもしイスラム国というのがあのようなあのムスリムが祝福しないようなやり方ではなく
コーナーに基づいて国づくりをしたとしたらそれは私たちは祝福するべきだったということでしょうか私たちあらムスリムの方ですかあムスリムでなくてもあはいはい、えー He says, I wasn't actually finished my question, but I have a following、uh, regarding、uh, state code IS, Islamic State. The, the, I understood that their way, their methodology is wrong, not Islamic way. However, their、uh, intention, the intent purpose of establishing such state wasn't、uh, really wrong to me. Because they have been under the pressure, under the to tortures, and you know, under the evil treatments and everything. So, if, if only if they had been established their country according to、uh, following the Quran and Sunnah,、uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be appropriate for us, all of us, including Muslims and non Muslims, to bless their acts? The brother said that what we see about IS and ISIS, they aren't following Quran and Sunnah, maybe they have been, they have been persecuted. But if they follow Quran and Sunnah, it's correct. I said, anyone who follows Quran and Sunnah correctly, he's on the state path. But what we see in the media, we don't know whether it's right or wrong. I don't trust the media. But if the information we get that if any Muslim kills any innocent human being, it is totally prohibited. Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse 32, that anyone kills any other human being, whether Muslim or non Muslim, it is killed all of humanity. So, what news we get, we don't know. But if they are killing innocent human beings, it is not an Islamic state. Because, because Almighty God prohibited the Muslims from killing any innocent human being. Do you understand? I said the story in this case. もしそのどんな団集団であれコルアンと正しい預言者の伝承原稿録に従って国づくりしたならばそれは私たちが祝福すべき存在となるわけですが基本的に私たちはメディアで見聞きするようなものは、まあ、メディアを信用しないですけれども、えー、人,人,あ人を殺めるものはあたかも全人類を殺めたに等しいと先ほどもあの引用しましたコルアンの第5章32節にありますように。えー、そのような間違ったやり方でやっている限り、決して、えー、祝福された国とは言えません。ありがとうございます。Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much. Next question. 次の質問どうぞ。今日はありがとうございます。Thank you very much for today. ね、お名前を。えっ、ー、と東京都から山田千夏と言います。千夏山田さん東京、はい。ご所属は。それ。ご所属は。所属は東京に住んでます。あ,あいやいやあのお勤め会社員の方ですか。あ会社員です。はい。シーズンエンエンプロイヤーカンパニー。はい。えっ、ー、と先ほどのお話を聞いていてとてもわかりやすかったですありがとうございます。It was very、uh, plain to understand so thank you very much for that. My pleasure. 全人類に向けて、えっとまあ、25人の使徒、あ,あ,使徒あと25人の預言者、そして100人の使徒を使わされて、えっと、神は全人,全人類を救いたくて、えー、慈悲を持って見てくださっているということだったと思うんですけれども、歴史を見ると、1000年以内にはそういう預言者などが出ていたと思われます。えーこれから先、まあ、ムハンマドが亡くなられてから1400年経ってると思うんですけれども、今、あの先ほどもありましたように、核戦争が起きそうとか、あの人々が必ずしも幸福だと言えるような世界ではないと思いますで、その中で神はどのようにこれからの地球をお作りになろうと、お導きになろうと思われているのか、教えていただければと思います。よろしくお願いします、はいえー、ちなみにあの125人ではなく1万2500人と伝承ではあるという話ですので、ね、伝承しておきます、えー、She was saying that the,、uh, I enjoyed very much of、uh, your explanation that Almighty God had sent 25 named prophets,、uh, the messengers and other、uh, 125,000、uh, messengers in, in tradition 
Uh, however, those prophets and messengers have been sent and worked hard to, uh, to make betterment in the world in before a thousand years. So after the past, after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passing away, uh, now we are facing in the world of difficulties, a lot of challenges, having nuclear weapons and so on. Uh, human beings are in danger. So my question is, what uh, would you please tell me what God intends to uh, bring the people, bring the humankind to us? The sister has a very good question that Almighty God sent several messengers, 124,000. Last Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the last 1400 years, many changes have taken place. Now war is taking place, nuclear weapon is taking place. What is God now planning? What, what does he want to do? What do you have to do? Almighty God knows what is going to happen in the future. So all this he predicted in the Hadith. If you read the sayings of the Prophet, how the world is going to end has been predicted that people will make tall buildings and they will compete with each other now you know the tallest building is in Dubai, Burj Khalifa second tallest Makkah Tower, now one more is coming all these predictions are there so, all, so that's the reason new messenger is not required what's going to happen is already mentioned in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith and even the solution is there it says that again again when what will happen it says that the Muslims should be on the truth the full world will be against us. We know that. So, this, these are predictions given. We don't require a new messenger because Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, peace be upon him. And all the guidance required for the human beings is already there in the Quran. What we have to do is we have to follow the Quran. Irrespective of what happens in the world, good, bad or ugly, we have to follow the Quran and we are undergoing our test. God will not ask us, why are the other people killing? God will ask you, did you kill? No. Did you try and stop them? Yes. So we have to follow the guidance of the Quran and the Sayyidi to pass in this test. Totemu wari go istimon kudasai mashita. Ms. Ga, yuitsu no kami wa, sbete, ima okoru koto mo, mirai ni okoru koto mo, toki o koeta o kata desu kara, shitte orareta wake de. Desu no de, jijitsu, yogen sha Muhammad sama no sama mari wa sal, genko roku o to shite, yogen,未来を言い当てる、予言しておられます。例えば、え、裸足で異世界世代ベドウィンの民が高い建物を建てて互いに競い合うようになるですとか、え、現在実際そうですね、ドバイのあの、ハリファ、ハリファタワーが一番で、その
These two things are major thing for anyone to become a Muslim. この2つだけが、この2つこそが、イスラムの、えー、家といいますか、イスラム家族、イスラムの範疇にどんな人であれ入っていく上で欠かせない2つの要素なわけです。も,あもともとあのその2つは信じています。あ、はい。オリジナリー、I have already been believing in those two. So, b i l m a s h if you're believing, then I'm going to be already a Muslim. もうムスリムなわけですね。そうですね。Yes, I am Muslim. Still a Muslim. That's true. No, no. Did she become now or she? もう,もう以前からムスリムだったわけですかその2つは信じているので。あ、えっ、ー、と、信仰家としてはしてない。あ、えー、she has already been believing in those two, but、Good. I have not taken the shahada. Would you like to take the shahada? 信仰家されます考えます。Uh, I would think about it. No, if you believe these two things for so many years, for so many, now, now if you believe there is one God, if you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, then you have to accept it and then go ahead. I believe that this is an issue of the distance between myself and my God. あの先生が言われたのはもうすでにこれまでにもうこの2つの基本的な点を信じてきてこられているのならば、えー、もう信仰告白をなさってあのまあ、今ご自分でムスリムですと言ってくださったわけですから、信仰工学をきちっとされることで、より良いムスリムになる確率がぐっと高まるわけでして、でもそうでないと、その確率は約束されないですね。神が最終的にはジャッジを下してくださると思うので、信じます。それを信じます。Uh, I believe that the, the God would give me a judgment finally. Sure.、Uh, もちろんですね。So, inshallah, I pray that Allah gives you hidayah. But if you are convinced, my question is that she's convinced, but there's one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. I think that the Prophet is the messenger. I think that the Prophet is the messenger. I think that the Prophet is the messenger. Yes. If you believe in this, that means you're already a Muslim sister. Yes. But these two are the minimum things. Yes. But these two are the minimum things. If you believe in these two things, you're already a Muslim. You don't have to say the shahada between you and Allah. Allah, so, you know, Kami Sama to Anata no Aida ni oite wa, Tokini Shinko Kokoa, Fiona Wakede, Muslim, the Rasha Wakede. Yes. But normally, when you say it becomes easier for you to practice it. You know, we pan taking you are Shinko Kokoa Gazarita Hoga, Yori, this thing she asked Nato. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Arabic or Tashin Tsuri Takimaska? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Takbir. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Inna Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Allah. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness. Atsunite itadamasu. Atsunite itadamasu. Atsunite itadamasu. In Japanese, I bear witness. アンナーの他に神はないということを。アンナーの他に神はない。そしてムハンマド様が。そしてムハンマド様が。アンナーの使徒であり。アンナーの使徒であり。しもべであるということを。しもべであることを。タクビール。アンナー。タクビール。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。アンナー。Also, as a Japanese to Islam. Allah 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 and I request the Japanese volunteers, I request the Muslim volunteers, if you can take their phone numbers and their name so that you can follow up with them, and if they have any difficulties, they have to help them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. If you can take the phone numbers and their names, then I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them. So I request the lady volunteer sisters to take them.
、いろんな教えをありがとうございます。えー、私はあの韓国から来たんですけど、Thank you for all those teachings. I'm from Korea. はい、あ韓国でイーサンジュンと言います。Uh, my name is イーサンジュン。えー、それであの、えー、日本では事業の今計画とかをしにこちらに来ています。I'm planning to establish、uh, some business. えっと、宗教についてちょっと、素朴なちょっと疑問なんですけれど、I have a simple question on religion. あの、韓国と今、北朝鮮とは今、休戦中で、あの、同じ民族で分かれてますよね。As you know, the Korean people between North and South are separated, although、uh, the war has been stopped for a while. 同じあの民族だったのね、同じ民族だったのが、えー、資本資本主義と共産主義が入ってきて、それで二つに分かれて、まあ喧嘩っていうことで戦争が起きて、あの分かれた分かれました。で私のあの母は北朝鮮の人で、えー、うちのお父さんは韓国の人です。Uh, although we were same nation, but because of the politics、uh, stance of difference,、uh, I my お父さんっておっしゃいました。あ、うちの父はあの、北、チェジュド、あの、韓国の一番南の島の、なんですけど。お母さんが北朝鮮。え、そうです。あ、母が。my mother is from north Korea。but my father is from south。so likewise has been separated because of the。political issues。えっと、イスラム教と、あの、キリスト教の歴史とか、ちょっと聞いたときに。あの、アブラハムの子孫が、あの、キリスト教と。あと、あの、イスラム教に分かれたと聞き,聞きました。When I heard about the religions of Abraham, Abrahamic religion, the, the descendants of the Abraham has, has been、uh, developed those、uh, Christianity and Islam. ですね。戦争とか他の何かによって一つにその参加その下に行くことがあの神様が望まれているのかちょっと疑問なんですけど、それについてどうしたら戦争しないであの二つの国が仲良くなるのかそういう疑問を持ってるんですけど、まあ
I request the organizer, if someone can give a Japanese translation to it, so inshallah you can read it and implement on it. I じゃあ、あの、今先生が言ったのは事務局の方にお願いです。コラーンの日本語版をぜひ差し上げてください。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あ、で、日本人レディース。ノンムスリムの方でしょうか。ムスリムではない
If you don't know, ask the person who is knowledgeable. So if any question comes in your mind, you have to ask the person who is an expert. For example, if you get sick, who do you go to? You go to a doctor. So if you have any questions on Islam, you have to ask a person who is an expert on Islam. ご覧の中にももし何時らがわからないことがあるならばそれをより良くする専門家に尋ねればよいのですこれは何時らがわからないことがあるならばそれをより良くする専門家に尋ねればよいのですこれは何時らがわからないことがあるならばそれをより良く
と犬が好きなんですけど。I like dogs. I like dogs. Dog, dog. Sister, see what you have to understand. What you have to understand if you stay. See, many people will be shocked. What is Dr. Zakir Naik saying? <laughs> He is telling to the non Muslim, you can have four. This is a Sharia ruling. Let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. The small loss is, I'm telling you, okay, continue with folk, though it is wrong. I'm not saying it's right, but telling you to prevent from the biggest sin that is shit. So I'm using the Sharia and telling you, okay, continue folk. Maybe Allah will give you hidayah after a few days, after a few weeks, after a few months. But at least you stop shirk today. Believe in one God Allah. Believe in Prophet Muhammad. Stop the alcohol. And the pork and dog can come later on. I'm now going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. I'm going to tell you about the Islam of the Islam. えー、より大きな損失を招かないために、えー、より程度の少ない損失を、えー、すごい甘んじて受けるというようなイスラムの法規定にのっとったお話をしているわけだ,だけですのであくまでも、えー、多神崇拝をまず立っていただいてアルコールを立っていただいてそれから、えー、豚肉を食べるというのはそあのステップバイステップで何年後かという話なわけです。Because, sister, if you don't believe in Allah and the Messenger, you cannot go to Jannah. If you believe in Allah and the Messenger and have pork, yet there are high chances. You know, and I care for you, and I want you to go to Jannah. That's the reason, hope you can continue. Maybe after a few weeks, a few months, Allah will give you hidayah and you stop. But now, at least agree there is one God, and Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger. Become a Muslim, and slowly, slowly, you can keep on improving your practice. Slowly, slowly. So, the most important thing is that you have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to believe in the one true God. You have to Sister, wearing the hijab is more important. You're already wearing a hijab, mashallah. Many girls give shahada and don't wear hijab. You're wearing hijab. Dog is secondary, lower thing. Hijab is more important. So, mashallah, I think that you're already a practicing Muslim. あなたは素晴らしいムスリムイスラムを信じる女性としての実践をされているわけですよ。ヒジャブ、かぶりもするというのはとてもイスラムを信じる女性としては大切なことなんですね。あなたは実践しておられるじゃないですか。中にはムスリムでありながらヒジャブをかぶっていない方もたくさんいるわけですから、すでにあなたはそれをもう実践しておられるということで、素晴らしいと。あなたのことを気にかけていますから、天国に行っていただきたいので、いかがですか。はい、あでもちょっと厚かりでちょっとこれ辛いんですけどでもあのこういう式の時とかあとマスクで勉強の時とかは頑張ってつけてるだけなんです。I'm trying my best now because I, I'm basically I'm not I'm I don't like the humid you know atmosphere. It's good that's what I'm telling you just to keep the atmosphere of wearing hijab that means the heart is very good that's what I'm happy about it. I know for a lady to wear hijab is difficult, so that's what's impressing me. That means if you accept Islam, inshallah, you will follow everything very fast. That's what I believe. ですからそのあなたがすでにその頑張って、えー、ヒジャブをかぶっておられること自体が私にとって感動的ですと。女性がヒジャブをするのは大変だと分かってます。でもそれそれすらも今頑張ってしておられるわけですから、きっとあなたがひとたびスラム入信すればその学びも成長度合いも早いことでしょうと。確信しています。マシャラ。The tears of joy, sister。喜びの瞬間じゃないでしょうか。Sister, let me be sad. 信仰告白されますか。マシャラ。This is real. This is real. This is the help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I say in Arabic, and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Arabic, you can repeat it. Ashadu. One more. May I ask you a question? Sure. Do you want to eat a lot of food? Yes, I want to eat a lot of food. 
イルカとかクマとかイルカとクマ普通食べますか<笑>ちょっと食べてみたいんですシザーアスキン Could I be able to eat dolphin and bears? I have a, yes, I have a curiosity to have dolphin no problem. 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 Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Shahadu, Anna, Allah, Muhammadan, Muhammad, Abduhu, 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 Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness. 私は証言します。私は証言します。Allah の他に神はないということ。そして私は証言します。モハンマド様が、アンラーの使徒であり、しもべであるということ。タクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタ And make you practice as much as Islam possible, and make you help other Japanese to come to Islam. The Gaku wa Shiko no Anna ga anata wo sara ni michibi te kudasare shukuku wa taite kudasare koto wo inorimas. Tengoku e irete kudakere yo inorimas. So shi anata wo toshite oka no hito dachi ga michibi karere yo inorimas. Anata oka no tachi no tasuke to narere yo inorimas. Ano namae wo tsukete moremas ka? She's asking you to name her. She's asking you to name her. Give her Muslim name. Muslim name. Okay, sister, you can keep your name as Aisha. <laughs> Aisha was the Aisha. name. Aisha. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> See, mashallah. Amongst all the people who took shahada, even they were genuine. I feel. See, you also want a Muslim name. So that is what Allah helps you, mashallah. And may Allah reward you, inshallah. And I would suggest you can keep the name of Aisha, which was, a, which was the wife of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Aisha. So, now, any Christian who has been accepted, there are people who are in that case. But, in the midst of that, you have been granted a Muslim name. I'm proud of you. 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 ありがとうございます。Are there any brothers from here who are non-Muslims? Any non-Muslim brothers? Any non-Muslim sisters? Any sisters who are non-Muslim? 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 Any sisters Okay, we can we can take a couple of questions. We have the order until eight o'clock, so we'll take a couple of questions from the gents and from the sisters. Yes, brother. So at least Muslims should not complain that they don't get a chance. People complain that Muslims don't get a chance to ask questions. But the Muslim question session goes a bit fast. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan. Waalaikum assalam. I'm, I'm computer engineering student. My question is: I have a question regarding the right of marriage in Islam. In case of both men and women are Muslims believing, believing, practicing Muslims with good characters, capable for living together, then is there any problem for Muslim parents to refuse such a marriage? If the girl and the boy are Muslim and they're practicing and they want to marry, but naturally you shouldn't convince the parents. The parents are the elders, so it's preferably that you take the advice. But many a time, some of the parents want rich, yes. beautiful. So you tell them, a beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when anyone any gets anyone gets married, if, when he chooses a life partner, he looks for four things: wealth, beauty, nobility, and virtue. The best among them is virtue. So give this hadith to the parents, 
and if she's a virtuous girl and a virtuous boy, then they should go ahead. And virtue is the best out of all these four criteria for marrying a spouse. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Can we have the next question from sister's side? I request if, that if the brothers can stand. Can all the brothers stand? All right. If the sisters can stand, so I know how many are there. Yes, sister. Oh, uh. Ask all the brothers to stand, so I know how many are pending. If you can stand, yes. Yes, sister. Okay. Um, th thank you for the, um, the very precise, uh, very clear uh, lecture. Jazakallah, sir. Yes, um, my name is Jannat Siddiq. I am a Muslim. Um, I became a Muslim in 2005 um, after marrying a Bangladeshi husband of mine. And, and mashallah, I have an eight year old daughter, Hadija. Um, again, mashallah. Um, okay, now, um, now finally, um, this is my time to ask a question. Um, okay, um, well, it looks like um, I would like to ask you. Uh, your opinion um, about this? Um, I have seen uh, like several videos of uh, fake halal um, animal fighting in the in the Middle East. Oh, and um, like fake halal, um, fake halal uh, meaning um, what well, you are supposed to slaughter the animal um, in the way of Quran, but it's not doing it. Um, it's actually um, they are electrocuting the animal, um, which uh, which make the um, well in that case um, I saw a sheep suffering when they die and um, and why is it um, I wouldn't want to say allowed but why is it getting so common these days and um, I have also seen the picture of um, animal fighting in that case um, two goats are fighting and um, and actually um, uh, these Muslims the local Muslims are eating them and uh, why is it um, why is it uh, why has it been practiced um, I would like to um, ask you your opinion about this Sister asked two questions that she has seen videos in which there is fake halal. So why is it being practiced or allowed? Sister, if it's not zabiha, according to the rules of the Quran and the Sunnah, it is haram to have that meat. Why it is being done? Because now halal business is becoming a very good business, you know. And in Japan also I found many people have a halal business, halal business, you know. So for business some people do it and some of the non-Muslims also do it. We as Muslims we should see to it that as long as it is following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith, no problem. <clears throat> but if they are not following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith because they want to make a fast money, then it is not allowed. So we should discourage such things. Regarding animal fighting, I know during the Bakri Eid or Eid al Doha, the children normally get goats and the goat fight. It's all. It is not encouraged. It is wrong for goat to fight. But some of the children do that. It is wrong. So we should not encourage that the animals should fight among themselves. But if some people are doing out of ignorance, we should guide them. And in Islam, the zabiya should be made according to the guidelines of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. No, yes, sir. Excuse me. Jahar to what you want to In in the table, Gandhi Gandhi Zawa ga yume ga. <laughs> My name is Susa, Jafar Susa. Uh, India is famous for its Gandhi's River. Ga Gandhi's or Ga Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi River. Yes, so uh, what, it, what is its position in Islam? Brother asked the question that India is famous for Ganges River. What is the position in Islam? In Islam, it's just a river. <laughs> <laughs> Almighty God says he sends water from the sky and leads it into sources. It's a river. In, in Hinduism, it's known as a holy river. In Islam, there is nothing. Only thing what we believe is in Zamzam. You know Zamzam in Makkah? That we believe is pure water. That's holy water. But the other thing, it's just a normal river. Ganges River, and it is just like any other river. Hope that answers the question. Islam in the Oite, Ganges River, to me, is just a river. The other thing, the Muslims for the Oite, is that the Oite is a small river in Makkah, where the Oite is from. The Ganges River, to me, is just a normal river, and the other river is not a single river. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Two shots. Inshallah, we'll have the last two short questions. One from the sisters, one from the brothers. Can we have a question of sisters before we end the session? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Imam, a homemaker, Masha. a rebirth Japanese Muslim, who was really against Islam before, but alhamdulillah came to this right path through watching your lectures on the internet. Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. Alhamdulillah. So one of your sessions before, you explained about the people with the disabilities. Uh, they may be the test for their parents or themselves in this world. But how can we think of those people who are born with a both gender characteristics as nature, like both men and females characteristics? Because God created uh, creatures in a complete perfect way and in Quran that there is clear cut of men and women. And these people not always have enough capacity to have the like operational surgery or a facility or money. So how can we think of these phenomena in Islamic perspective? Sister asked the question that she has heard my tapes and she has been impressed and she heard that when children are born with disability, it's a test. She's asking what about those people who are born who are bisexual, that means they are both the sex. They are girl and boy together. Sister, as far as my knowledge goes, the majority, almost all, the people who are such type of people, both the sex, they have been manipulated. They aren't born in that way. After they are born, there is certain surgery done, or they do certain things, and then they are converted. They aren't, they aren't congenitally born, male and female together, hermaphrodite. It only happens afterwards that there are certain communities, there are certain group of people which do an operation after birth and then they convert into a, they convert into a sex which is of both the genders. So this is the, the blame will not go on Almighty God, it will go on the human being system. But like, yes, uh, some people have the perception after they are born and society changed their mind. But some people born as a nature by both physical characteristics, so I'm confusing about this. As far as my knowledge goes, most or almost all happen later on. By birth, no one is a hermaphrodite. No one is born with both the sexes. It happens later on, sister. Hope that answers the question. Thank you very much. Yeah, the last question Thank before you. we end the session. My name is Malik Habib Guru Rahman. I am correspondent of the uh, World Muslim Congress in Tokyo, Muhammad al Islam. Uh, actually, my question is in continuation of a question from one of uh, the Japanese friends. He asked you about the Islamic State. Now, we have a big issue, it's recently, in the name of Daesh, ISIL, Taliban, and Al-Qaeda. May I know what is it's the real issue and what connection it had? Because they claim they are fighting for a state, Islamic state. That's ISIL. Brother, Daesh, this Taliban question has already been asked and the answer has been given. I will repeat the same answer. When you heard the question, you're asking the same thing again. I told you, if anyone claims to have an Islamic state, if it's following the Quran and Sunnah, it's on the correct side. If it's not, then the wrong side. If someone kills any innocent human being, it is against the Quran and they cannot be an Islamic state. My, I think I haven't got... Brother, can we have the next question? Please. Brother, the question has been asked about and the answer has been given. Brother, the question has been asked and the answer has been given. It has not been answered satisfactorily. Can you have the next question? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to ask about your, your opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT, LGBTQ rights. Thank you. Brother, I said, what is my opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT rights? I find Islam, there is no concept of gay and LGBT. If someone wants to be, it is again a deviation. All this that you find is because when you don't follow the law of Almighty God, for example, we believe in segregation of sexes. 
you go to the western world according to statistics of usa a person had eight different sexual partner before he settled down with one so now when you break the rule and you start doing fornication start doing adultery what happens you get tired of it then you want to go more and then you start having sex with the same sex no one is born as a gay there was a theory which says that gay are congenital later on it was proved that the person who said this theory himself was a gay so there's nothing like a person who's born being a gay congenital these all theory so when you break the rule of almighty god you don't practice hijab you don't follow the rules and and you don't have segregation of sexes then you get tired you overdo the thing which are haram then you want to do bestiality you know bestiality best are having sex with the animals then you start having sex in the wrong way then you start having lesbian then you start having gay all these are deviation when you keep on deviating you want something new and new and that's so that the reason the psychology is tell that a person who doesn't have extramarital affairs he enjoys the sexual married life the best in islam we can only have with the wife with a lawful wife and husband when you keep on breaking this rule okay let's have a live in partner okay let's just have fun the moment you start having all these things you break the rule of god and you start deviating and all this in islam there is no room and this is all unnatural hope that answers the question thank you sir wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin takbir どうもありがとうございました。えー、質問はまだ続くんですけども、えー、あのあのはいあのもうあの時間になりなりましたのであの申し訳ありませんけどもあの2時間の時間が過ぎましたけどもおかげさまでたくさんの質問をいただきましたありがとうございます。それではあの閉会の辞としまして、えー、日本ムスリム平和連盟代表のえー、名門モハマド・アンワルさんからクローズのメッセージをお願いします皆さんどうもこんにちはサラモリ今日は長いセミナーを来ていただいていろんな質問していただいてありがとうございますもうあのこのセミナーは今日は第8回もう8年間あの東京大学の特に長澤先生のご協力をいただいてやっておりますそれの目的はイスラムの布教とかではなくてイスラムと非イスラムの人たちの間にブリッジをかけてあの特に誤解とかはクリアするというのが目的でありますでまああの今日は午前,あ午前じゃない第一部ではヤングムスリムあの若い青年の日本人ムスリムのパ